What is happening? And welcome to your Thursday Night Delight. I, of course, am one of your hosts around here, Sean the Right Way. And joining me, as always, with that slick back hair, the jacket, the shirt, and the shade, we're talking about Brent from Brent's Bricks. Legoland. <laughs> oh, it is Legoland. I, I guess I'm feeling Legoland today. <laughs> And tonight, the hot topic, Brent. We got to cover it. Not just Star Wars, maybe all of those. GWP. Some G dubs? G dub app. You know what I mean? We got to check in on them, see how everybody's feeling about them. Most importantly, we want to hear from you, the Girth Gang, because we are a couple of brick in. Oh, wow. That was, that was a short pause that time. Yeah. Caught me off guard. Yeah, flap Soldier Boy. Uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Superman the Hull. It is a couple of brickheads coming to you live. April 18th, I believe, on a Thursday, Thursday Night Delight, you guys know it well, a couple of brickheads back on the air. Brent, hectic week for me. How's your week been, sir? Oh, man, <clears throat> hectic as well. You know, it's warming up out there. I literally, in the span of like a day, I put together a trampoline, a basketball hoop. I was cleaning the gutters. I mean, we're just, we're just, going, we're just going full send on the prep in the house for summertime spring summertime so uh yeah a lot of outside work uh so that's been that's been fun <laughs> everybody everybody has requested that we switch sides people were freaking out Brett. am i always on this side i think i i don't know that i ever paid attention well, they to would it, they would know we would everybody's <laughs> i guess because i was on the, the left way yeah <laughs> <laughs> clever oh man all right guys sorry see hey look we pay attention you know i'm glad yeah. you you know it I was I looking I at it. I'm like, something's off. Yeah. 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 It's all right. The Girth Gang has our back, bro. What would we do without you guys? Could you could you imagine if we just did a recorded show? Shot is supposed to be on the left. Please fix this. Please fix. I don't like this. My OCD doesn't allow it. That's so funny. Hey, they definitely... I mean, the Girth Gang is... Who's going to know this type of thing? So I mean, only the boys, you know. <laughs> Swapping it up. So... And I think we you usually put the guests that... in the, we usually put the guest in the middle, right? I think it's been like this even since the very beginning, Sean. I even think episode one it was you on the left and me on the right. Well, I what think. freaks me out is like when you set up the, the cameras, place. you know, it's like you you do the mirror or not, you know what I mean? Like so I can yeah. never tell what's gonna come out like when I set do a new setup. So right. I think how we see it on the screen is how they see it i believe for sure definitely is my hat forward yeah my soil okay <laughs> awesome well guys there's 71 of you in here tonight we've got uh, a pretty awesome show planned for you a lot of breaking news uh coming in of course the moment i post the show brent and the topic and all that stuff it's just here comes the news <laughs> so we'll be checking in with uh, the Falcon's Nest, sponsored by Brick Clicker at this time, <laughs> yeah, and a few of our other friends. There's some more, uh, more stuff we got to cover, Brent, and just GWPs. There's some insider activity going on as well, so we're gonna get yeah. into that. Some some more space. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's space. There's all kinds of d just different G Dubs. I kind of we kind of look at what's happened this year and how it's affect purchase purchases. And, uh, yeah, and then, and then, like, you know, what we don't know is we don't know what the double, triple, quadruple. Yeah, that's BIs always kind of are. a wild card. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I'm, CPA I'm went back. Look at this. CPA was digging in the crates. The very first episode, Sean is on the left. <laughs> yeah. I, I, had a, I had a feeling. I guarantee there's one where we got caught slipping. I'm not asking you to go through, but I guarantee. Oh, someone's going to. Hey, no, ask him to go through. Click Click through rate. There like every ACOB stream you haven't already liked. <laughs> um, hey, guys, how's it going tonight? Girth Gang, can't wait to get my 
the box of boys. Uh, the news is straight up broken today. Stud Lake, we do now. We have to see what he's referring to there. Dude, so. Flicker has the two and four point sets. Oh, we do now oh, on does that. He? Okay. Bro, I bet Chewbacca is in one of them, dude. Can you That'd imagine Tubes? Tubes we need at Tubes four in times. That'd be a fun ride for people. Uh, yeah. Guys, we do have uh, an update on production of, of Box of Boys for those of you guys that got in on the, the madness uh, from, from our friend Stud Lake that we have got uh, parts are arriving. Um, Cody, can you give me the updates on what percent that was? You sent it to me a text earlier, but it's a pretty high percentage of the stuff is already in, guys, or an encouraging amount. And so parts are gathered, yeah. So uh, we're, I think we're doing good. You know, we, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves until we get 100% of the pieces in. Uh, and, and, which shouldn't be a problem, by the way. Everything's ordered. It's just you guys know how shipping goes. Some stuff hits faster. So uh, we'll get some updates. And I think it would be fun, Brent. I was saying um, we could start producing some pictures, you know, a little a little here and there behind the scenes of the production of the Box of Boys. You know what Very I mean? Nice. Like updates. Behind like, the scenes. Well, we're all, we're all in this together. So it's like, you know, the yeah. the boss the boss working the, uh, working the factory yeah. line. No, that's... <laughs> That's awesome, man. I mean, like, because it really, this is really like a powered by the Girth Gang thing, man. Like, without right. the Girth Gang, this is impossible. Like, I can't wait to see this all come together, man. It's... Leave it to me to botch something like this, but it's 100% of the parts have been ordered and found. That's the great news. Nothing's out of stock. 20% already came in today, which it's only been like a week. Uh, and everything else is shipped and is in route. So, dude, we are looking good. Nice. And by the way, uh, Stud Lake. You know, I am going to come by and inspect because we don't want you taking any, you know, Brent and Sean minifigs out of the factory a la Mexico. Yeah. yeah okay? no leaks, don't go full no into Mexico. Figs. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah okay. No we're, not, figs. we're not Rex over here. You can just throw in your pocket. Don't do that. All right. Oh, could you imagine if someone. Like, imagine him stealing from the boys, Brent. That'd be up. Could you imagine a Sean getting thrown up on eBay or Bricklink and going for like. Because, I mean, you got to think the set. Is already a sixty. What, what, how much was the set? Seventy or sixty nine? Sixty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So if one of the figs leaked, that's already coming from a seventy dollars set. It's pretty limited. Things could go crazy. If one of Moments is already cruising, whatnot, looking for the. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh oh. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah. he's gonna have it on the stream. Hey, uh, shout out to Max. What up, Max? Max. Rex. And, uh, yeah, guys, look, we're going to do roll call here in a second. But before we get started, for those of you guys that were lucky enough to either be in the live GWP or catch it on Replay Gang, Brent, I'm going to turn it over to you. I want to know what it looked like, what it felt like, what it smelled like, all that good stuff. You're cruising along on the stream, putting up a fantastic stream. Everyone's having a good time. You're reviewing Ryan's review. Ryan got in there. There was some good comedy about him striking you, and, and all was well yeah. with the world. And then a bomb went off. Walk me through yeah. it. What did it feel like? Bro. So I wasn't expecting much out of that stream. Obviously, GWPs are quite literally super spontaneous and random. Like, Sean and I might say something about, like, tonight might be a good night for one, but I don't post about them. Like, so, like, there's no hype leading into them. So we're hanging out for... I don't know, a half hour or so. Somebody brings up Ryan's review, and funny enough, I had only watched the first couple of minutes, so I thought maybe we'll finish this with the chat. So we get some conversation going about the tie interceptor and things of that nature. Um, Sean pops up in the chat, and like people start making jokes like, oh, Ryan's going to copyright strike, and then Ryan pops in the chat. And uh, it was even funnier that Ryan was in the chat because not that longer. Coming out of hibernation. <laughs> Tyler from Life Bricks pops up with a super chat, mind you. Um, pops up and uh, is dude, the chat went great. Sean went great. Uh, my favorite comment, probably from everybody reacting from Tyler uh, making a comment in the stream, was uh, somebody was like, I'll get Ryan on the stream. And I was like, Well, I'm already reacting to Ryan's video. And Ryan was like, I'm in Wawa, anyways. And then when Tyler shows up later, Ryan leaves a comment. He goes, I just fell to my knees in Wawa. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and like this the chat went crazy um 
It was nuts. Yeah, I, I didn't even expect. I think we got up to like seventy five or almost like eighty people for. A, it's un, like a normal unplanned. night around here. It was yeah, awesome. for an unplanned GWP. It was pretty crazy. And then everyone that was already in the stream was like, "I'm so stoked! Like, I got to like be here for this like literal like, yeah, you know, emer emerging out of hibernation." And what was funny is, uh, I think Tyler also Tyler had a lot of great, obviously like good takes, good comments in the chat that night. Everyone was hyped. Um, but he had said, yeah, me and Falcon just flew north for the winter or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so he's funny. He's been in hibernation. Um, Came out of that but, carbonite. There you go. Yeah, yeah, they're frozen in carbonite. There you king go. King returns. There was, I mean, I, I'm just. You, yeah, uh, people were like, return you, of the king. Like, it was crazy. Bring us like, all together. Guys, I, seriously, man, that, that's, you know. The, we, I'm, we, glad sh I'm glad you were in the chat for that, I, Sean. I, we, we spend, I spend a lot of time on trying to you know, create some sort of, you know, surprises and magic for you guys as much as we can. Um, you got, you know, and I hope you guys appreciate as much as we do, because we don't even know if we're going to like pull it off half the time, yeah. <laughs> like brick clicker, like that was pretty badass. And that's yeah. why like when you see us react, it's, yeah, I might know about it, but it's still cool as hell. And Brent well, certainly didn't know about it. And I can tell you right now that even though whenever you guys would ask about Tyler, I would tell you, you know, we're texting him. He says he's fine, like all, all hundred percent true, but I assure you, None of us knew he was showing up on that G dub. And um, uh, look at this right here from Shreddy. I love you, says chat. I know Tyler. It, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> it really was just like a like a it was just return. Yeah, to, like just I, returning to the chat. It was it's, awesome. What's crazy is like it's not even like a full full like return yet, but no. like <laughs> just literally him just coming back well, in chat. We'll have to see what crazy. kind of. And it puts pressure, Brent, because it's like, I, you know, I don't yeah. know if there will be an ACOB moment tonight. And you can't have an ACOB moment every wow. week. Or, yeah. Because cause if everything is if everything is awesome, then nothing is. You know what I mean? So, sure. Like, but this is the, like, guys, like. It was cool. Like, Well, like Sean was talking about, like, there are things that are surprises on the show that are maybe planned. Not even by the both of us. Maybe only planned by Sean. So it's a, not only a surprise to me, but a surprise to the chat. And I've surprised Sean with a few things, but this was a legitimate, like, just out of nowhere. Didn't even happen on a normal legitimate. Day. Holy shit! I, yeah, I was man. streaming random. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm gonna clip up some of my reactions. I think for sure, and uh, throw it together in an upload for you guys to to look at. For those of you, we that should do a thing. all the times Brent's been shocked comp compilation. That we really fun. could, because I, I mean, you we could already think of like a couple off rip, like. <laughs> It's yeah. it's isn't that that really is just like something I can't really fathom. Like Sean surprises me by getting a like literal brick brick clicker exclusive video at the start of the show, planning that was a planned surprise for me, but then Tyler just showing back up out of nowhere when I'm streaming by myself. It's uh -huh. yeah, it's like a running theme on the show. Whether whether it's planned or not, I'm getting like shocked by something. <laughs> so, but hey, yeah, shout out to shout out to the GWP stream. Everybody was there for that. Uh, it's a good time, man. Yeah. Magic happens on ACOB. You never know what it's going to be. <laughs> True that, dude. So, Brent, Hashtag let's shot, uh, Brent. let's get into uh, welcoming the Girth Gang. Would you you want to do uh, you want to you want to feed the ducks? Or you want to do the little more upbeat one? What do you want to do here? I don't have the OG on me tonight. No, that's okay. We can feed ducks. You guys want to feed the ducks? Let's, let's, all right, everybody. I almost played the ducks for Tyler on the GWP at the end of the stream. Yeah. And he said like a funny thing about like, <laughs> don't do that or, you know, whatever. All right, guys, get your bread out. Time. Okay. You're going to walk towards the pond and you know what to do next. Tyler, if you're listening on replay, this is just your warning. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, speaking of preplay, first comment of the night, CPA. Shout out to CPA's new like logo he's got going on here. I like it. I like it. Simplistic. We got Cooper, the the giveaway winner, the legend, always up in the chat. I mean, can we really say enough about this guy right here? Can I say enough about this guy? No, because he's amazing. Shout out to Padawan HQ, the distributor of the Box of Boys set over across the pond. I mean, just a soldier out there in the trenches. Shout out to Lego Timmy. Got Brick Hive, hey, Hive replay gang. He's out here, man. Hive, if you're not watching Hive streams, Pure Ram Furies, good morning, Brick World. What are you doing? Subscribe to the Hive. 
We got Papa Rex, another channel member. Special shout out there in the pre-play gang. Human job. Oh, Hume jobs. Pre-play gang. We got some human jabba in the chat earlier. I don't know if you've seen that <laughs> in the pre-play gang. Did. People are into it. We got Ultra. We got Agent. Gotta roll through through here. Roll through these a little quicker here. We got Death Trooper coming in. Excited for the heater. We got Fabu. What's good, Fabu? Smoky Smokes, 710. Channel member special shout out there. G dubs. From Shreddy here, shout out to Shreddy. Dave Brick, 76. Preplay, I'm still in the preplay gang. Let me get a little closer here. Austin Brick's in the house. And just with the weekly reminder, Brick World Chicago, 55 days. Cannot believe it. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. You don't got to do all that, man. You need box of boys money. You need box of boys, man. Relax. <laughs> Want to loop it again, Eric. Brent, or are you good? One more time. I'm going to get to... I'm going to get up to some more recent comments we got yeah. the brick enforcer we got agent we got nick and bricks we got papa trip and then we got clever pig walther by the way bricks i've been negotiating right. Brent, real quick i've been negotiating with clever pig and i think we're gonna have him in for a speed champs tourney if we can oh, get okay. him and josh build stuff we could do kind of a march mat like we did with the star wars we could do that with the speed champs yeah dude i would love that i would love that let me if I can see. chess 89 shout out to stud lake as well of course Big shout out to stud lake the man behind the set anonymous shout out to anonymous uh anonymous donated a super chat on the g-dub a couple days ago Shout out Thank to you. Adam. Shout out to Adam. Shout out to Moments of the Magic, of course. Shout out to Max again. Tubes is thirty percent off. Let's go. Tubes is thirty right now. No percent off. I mean for the thing. I think. Hopefully, we'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, hype for May the Fourth. It's coming. What up, TJ? Tej. Right. I think I got. There's another channel member. What up, Anthony? All right. Yeah. J Bob, what up? Feed the dogs. Yeah. Y'all coming through with the. Take your bread out, emojis. boys. Yeah. Take that bread out. Hey, shout out to Mark in the chad Brick World Mark. Mark, what up? Man, the myth, the legend. I had a frantic phone call with Mark today. And guys, if he didn't call out your, your name, you know, the, you know the rules. Make a heater comment, you get called out. But I talked to Mark. Boy, are we cooking. Mark, you can confirm, if you will, sir. We are cooking. We got some crazy stuff going on for brick world and guys uh it's gonna be so awesome to meet a lot of you guys there but even if you can't make it we are working super hard on creative ways to bring brick world home to you okay yeah. so we're, we're not no boys left behind we are going to make sure the girth gang and quite frankly you know we're not selfish right right Brent? we're gonna the, the entire lego community is gonna see what's going on there but you're gonna see a lot of your boys on their front and center as the hosts of brick world chicago this year and uh we are going to be busy brent i mean sleep is going to be at an absolute premium yeah. and guys very very soon as in you know in the next coming few weeks uh we are hoping that mark will join us uh get some hype and some updates going uh yeah. we'll probably have two or three more dedicated brick world episodes <laughs> before yeah. we actually get there and if yeah, there's one you definitely don't want to miss, it's the final hype. It's the one right before we get on planes to go. Star-studded yeah. event. It's almost like a pay-per-view at this point, Brent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, yeah. Well, the I, final I, hype I did, episode. Yeah. On the GW, GWP stream a few days ago, I believe that was Monday or Tuesday, uh, I had some people asking about Brickworld. Like, they were going for the first time asking for tips. And I made sure to, to mention to them we'll definitely be doing some, like, Brickworld dedicated main shows for sure. So, yeah. Uh, anyone and guys, real quick too, Brent, and I feel like you know we definitely should mention this uh, every week as well. Guys, Brickworld has their very own uh, YouTube channel, and they do a really fun stream. If you guys are into the lives, which we know you are, uh, you know, chilling with us, they've got a show called Think Outside the Blocks every Sunday night uh, at eight o'clock. So. Um, well, I guess it changes some weeks. You have to check local listings. Sometimes it starts at 8 uh, Eastern. Sometimes it starts at 9 Eastern, it looks like. But, guys, give them a follow. Give them a give them a, a sub. Give them a watch. You guys know Mark from here. Honestly, even you know partnering with him and doing stuff is awesome. But most importantly, he's a really great guy. And, and uh, definitely 
um, you know, a great channel for, for those of you guys that are into the more, I guess, technical side of things. I mean, they do wacky hijinks like we do here, but yeah, yeah. they actually like build and shit over there. <laughs> so if yeah. you guys are into that sort of thing, you guys should definitely check them out. Yeah. Uh, also, because... Sean, you know what's crazy? We we should probably, at a certain point, even if it's not on the main show, we probably should like build something for once. You know what I mean? We probably should yeah, build yeah. something and talk to the girth guy at some point. It doesn't have to be on no, the main it's show. fine. Look, I mean, the thing is, is I've, <laughs> I, what, what happened was I when we came into the space, I I noticed again, it's, it seems like a long time ago, it was only three years ago. Yeah. A lot of these shows, like what we're doing now, I consider a show, we're really mm -hmm. dudes sitting around going snap, click, and then kind of interacting with the chat, right? Right, you know what I mean, and so like. I don't know. I just I, I I didn't know if that was like entertaining enough for people, yeah. but you know maybe well, on a G dub or something if you want to test it. But I, yeah. I don't know. I can't control the board and the hijinks yeah. and build at the same time. So. Well, that's it, it. Would 100 have to be on a, a GWP stream for sure. But me and Max kind of threw. We used to throw the idea around of doing um, a set race. Like Max would have a speed champs, and I would have the same speed champs set, and whoever gets done first wins or whatever. And like, <laughs> The chat could probably have a little bit of fun with that. People would be like, I'm yeah. taking, I'm betting on Max, I'm betting on Brent or whatever. Or, hey. And then, like, you're, you're distracting us with questions. And, and hey, like, you, you know like, me, man. You add a twist or you gamify something. I'm yeah. all in. Yeah, Boys, sure. uh, we showed you the teaser last week. Uh, real quick, just want to run it by you. Uh, we've got our merch updated over on Etsy. This absolute heater of a Barge Boys shirt, Brent. And it is phenomenal course you got max chilling in the middle max uh, the likeness of max rebo <laughs> just to be clear yeah. uh or or a similar or a what is it what's the word you're looking for a silhouette a tribute <laughs> well inspired by yeah. um and then you got barge boys called out there that is inspired by the skin of jabba the hut <laughs> And then you've on the sleeve, you've got that Ape Cob logo. And Brent, I don't know about you, but the the, sh the shirts with the Ape Cob on the sleeve just they just the, put the, it to a whole nother level. You know what I mean, dude? I love a good sleeve logo or just like sleeve design. It makes you feel like a man. You know what I mean, Brent? When you look down yeah. and you see that thing on your sleeve, guys. Classic yeah. boys shirt, awesome, awesome yellow sleeve on this one as well. I'm saying classic. It's been out for less than a year, but damn it, I'm calling it a classic. I but there are just here. so many good shirts. He's, uh, this is uh, Stud Sidious' store. So he's got some other stuff on there in addition to ACOP. Of course, you got the Box of Boys shirt. You guys are seeing that. Padawan and Boba are repping that one all the time. You got FPJ. Brand new release, Brent. The Royal Guard Boys shirt. That's fire. F pure fire right there. And, yes, you, can't, you might not be able to see it, Brent. There is a print. Uh, on the sleeve as well it's like a black over the charcoal so a little more of oh, okay. a of a subtle <laughs> a subtle <laughs> when i say stuff wrong on purpose i want to make sure people know what it, that i know it's wrong yeah, but yeah anyway um just all kinds of stuff and again it's not just limited to acob stuff but we'd understand if that's what you're there to get but he's that's got some sun. stuff the sunset tie fighters is kind of sick very cool so yeah guys those new drops are on there um, and rumor has it we are we hear you. We are working on some HJ stuff. So yeah. <laughs> hey man, there you can't some, have the barge some... boys without HJ. You know he's he's got to be showing respect, Brent. There was some people in the chat that were talking about us doing something with some kind of HJ thing. I don't know if is, are there leaks getting out there about some stuff. I don't know, man. Maybe there's more planned for HJ than uh, people think. You know what I mean? Sidious has got the link right there in the chat. Shout out to Sidious, guys! Give Sidious a shout out. You know, even if it, uh, even if it's not for you and it's something you don't want to rock, we totally understand. We got to show respect for him. Really, you know, putting the, you know, the design and putting. What am I trying to say, Brent? He's putting all this wackiness that we yeah. that we put out there verbally into designs that yeah. are just bangers. You know, we just come yeah. up with with this stuff and we and we. We work together and provide some direction, but to be, you know, clear with you, Sidious uh, really takes all of this, boils it down, and produces, I, quite frankly, the hottest merch in the game. I, I, I would like somebody to show me somebody that's doing cooler shit than we are. I don't think they are, 
Um, so huge shout out to Sidious for for being the guy that's doing that stuff. Dude, I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to make a. I'm gonna Any have to loner make a... shirts, uh, Sidious. I think um, he'll tell you it's in the queue. Uh, you know what it is, guys. We're we are gonna do a loner shirt at some point for sure. I think it's it's past the threshold of where it's like a, a shirt is required. Um, yeah. I think what it is is we got to get into the lab. Sidious is busy out with some stuff, but we'll get into the lab and we'll come out with something that we think makes sense. Um, what would it be? Because you could do like, it real simple. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it could just say loner or like. It but... could just say loner in the Lego font, but it's like, do we want to do a little bit more there? You know what I mean? So stay tuned. Yeah. There'll, there'll probably be a loner thing. So um, let's see. Yeah, and guys, when you get a chance, you know, get on that link. Um, and, and do a real zoom in to the butt of that Jabba skin on that Barge Boy shirt. It, it's really, really That's detailed. a deep cut. One of, my, one of my other favorite deep cuts, though, like in, in the merch, is the ACOP heaters, like the Miami Heat-inspired like jersey shirt, and then the flaming stud instead of the flaming basketball, and then it says ACOP on the stud. Yeah, it's so, a heater. It's one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites. I honestly might get another one just because, like, I'm starting to get I've worn had. down. Yeah. Well, I've worn the one I've had so much. Sidious knows we're going to put in hopefully kind of a bulk order because we're wearing nothing but ACOB stuff to. Should, for, should for we quick. put our bulk order in together? Yeah, maybe. Sidious, I don't know if that helps. <laughs> we'll talk order offline, like but 10. maybe put me and Brent's order in together and we'll just ship it to the hotel or something because I'm rocking. <laughs> Every day we're there, I'm rocking one to two shirts. Uh, <laughs> we might even want like some extra ones just to like throw yeah. to the homies. It's true. We'll see. Let's talk about we'll, that. We'll, we'll get our Perch gang needs our... patches. The real money is in patches. <laughs> oh yeah. Some hey, patches. crawl walk run, buddy. We'll get there. He can actually make basketball jerseys. He's testing them right now. So oh, you can do heaters be... jerseys. <laughs> oh, that would be so fire. Brent's that wallet is be... wide open for that one. Bro. You give me that ACOP Peters design on a freaking jersey. Oh. Yeah, you start Dude. bringing out patches, they're going to be expected G-dubs. So we're, right. we're on the topic of G-dubs. But, guys, thanks for your, your support and all that, um, all the stuff we're putting out there. And, again, I know I know we do a lot of it. And, um, you know, if there's something you want to grab, you can. It's a, it's a, it is very much a not-for-profit thing. We are just putting it out there at our cost and if you guys like it cool uh, you know because i know we've been hitting you guys with this stuff and you know it's just we keep coming up with new stuff and we're going to put it out there so i hope uh you guys aren't like annoyed by it or anything like that um but i understand if some of you are but we're going to keep agree. making cool stuff and nobody has to get anything if they don't want i'll at just i'll just leave it at that because my brain's always you guys know me man my brain hey, but it, at least we're not like pushing like like iPhone video games for you to play like play <laughs> we didn't talk about X that because I was like man Delta you know or whatever well when when the boy when the box of boys the the, the second box of boys the set came out I, I was saying like man we just did the case and we did this is it a yeah. lot and yeah, yeah Brent did remind me which was awesome yeah that you know other channels it's not to knock their hustle man you know whatever they right. got to do but they're doing like clean my bricks or square space and all this stuff yeah. and it's like you know, well, I, you know what's crazy is it's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. There, there's been times where there's been like a couple like cool brands that I would think like that'd be all that'd be cool to work with, but like to the point of where we are now, where it's just like our shit, like shit that's actually involved with like what we're doing, like whether it's merch or cases or a freaking set. Like it's not like we're like, oh, like buy the. I love my Ridge wallet, by the way. Ridge. <laughs> Shout out not, the Ridge. This is, this is not a diss at all, but at least we're you know we're not pushing non Lego stuff. That's I'll just leave it at that. We're not pushing yeah. like non Lego. Stuff. Yeah, I mean to me that gets this starts getting creepy. Not to say we never will at any point, but it have to make sense. Yeah. For us. Hey Ridge, I love my wallet. Hey Ridge, hey if you made an A Cob wallet, we'd put it on here, oh, dude. Because they're right. doing those NFL ones that are. I sick, know. Dude. Yeah, I don't think. So. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, guys, <laughs> Lego Ideas uh, 2024, Jaws. Again, we've been hearing rumblings. I, th I don't know if we've had a date before, Brent, but we do now for certain. It's been August rumblings for 3rd, a while, yeah. 1,497 pieces, 160 bones. If you guys look hard enough, because we were warned by our friend Ryan not to show things, uh, you can find kind of or maybe exactly what this thing's going to look like. But we do know that it's going to be 
obviously the iconic ship build along with Jaws himself. Yeah. Now, Brent, you're a bit of a young buck. Do you, are you a wait and see on the Jaws? Is there a chance you would get this? If it, or is there just no chance no matter how sick it is? Oh, no. I think I definitely want it. Um, I, I, I'm just – I love movies and like – I love when Lego does iconic movies or shows or something like some like the Friends sets, not like Friends the theme, but from Friends the television show. Like those are some of my favorite sets. Um, I love like the classic Jurassic Park sets that are of the iconic scenes. I mean, so this, I mean, I'm not FPJ and I'm not really you know going full price Jones, but I mean this is something I would like to have because it would go, it would just look cool you know, on display in the basement next to the TV in the den, wherever you watch your movies, it would be a nice display thing to kind of fit the vibe. You know what I mean? It wouldn't look bad in the basement, you know, somewhere near the UCS Falcon. <laughs> while you're Moments, down there we're not movies. <laughs> Moments though. I mean, you can light my bricks and stuff like that. That makes sense, dude. No. Yeah. Yeah. We're not knocking that. I'm, we're I'm not the... knocking anyone individually. And I'll be honest with you guys. Like if the right thing came along and it made sense and we thought you guys would enjoy it, we would. But like, since we have the leisure to choose what, who we want to work with and what we want to do, like there it is. Hot take of the year. Brent, I love movies. Here's um, the thing. You guys might not agree. I love movies. <laughs> <coughs> Dude, I swear. It's so funny. It's like my the shit I say that ends up being funny is like me not intentionally just saying something stupid. Yeah, man, I don't know if what you meant by like the Jaws franchise sucks. I think you're right, and I love I love Stud Lake's answer here. Um, not a hot take. The franchise sucks, but the first movie is an absolute. First one's classic. Thing. Oh yeah. First I mean, movie's like... not good either. Matt, you're out. That's it. The, 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 your take is erased. You can't say. It. I'm sorry. It's like objectively, I mean, like... that movie is phenomenal. Now, depending on. How old you are when you saw it. I grew up when it was the new hotness. And let me tell you guys something. I was scared to go into a swimming pool, let alone an ocean. Okay, that's that's a powerful film right there. And all because I love movies. I mean, really, what it comes down to is... <laughs> You like water too, Brent? Do you got any more takes? Like, Well, when it comes down to it, guys, you know what I really like? Food. I actually enjoy eating. Uh, I like staying alive. Um, but no, like, I mean, in all honesty, like this, I mean, Jaws is a classic, even if someone's going to say like, oh, it's not the greatest movie. I think it's just such a, it's such a staple in like the, you know, the silver screen Hollywood, like it's a classic, like it goes down, it goes down as one of the best. I mean, so if you got movie posters on your wall, what's better than a Jaws movie poster, a Jaws Lego set? This one comes courtesy of the brick reporter. And yeah. Brent, this one came a little bit, uh, I think a little bit before we got on air, but we have got more details of probably, quite frankly, Brent, my second most anticipated set of the year, of course, behind Barge Boys, uh, the 76396 Escape from the Sarlacc Pit. We're talking 558 pieces, a little low on the piece count for $79.99, but you're going to get Luke Skywalker in that sexy Jedi outfit, Brent, the all black, just murdered the out new hair group. piece. Probably. Yeah. I'm what guessing. do they What do they call it? Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan. What's the term, Brent? I'm not Super cool. Saiyan. His I don't hair? know. Oh, well, just because it's like Luke at his peak. It's, it's form, his yeah. peak. It's peak Luke, right? Peak so it's, form, got, Luke. Yeah, yeah so it'd be like form Super Luke, Saiyan, whatever that is. Yeah, uh, his ultimate form. Uh, you got Han, of course, uh, freshly defrosted. Tubes is there. Lando is there in his disguise. You got Bobes, another Bobes coming out, Brent. I mean, those are always sought after. And, of course, a week way. But it doesn't stop there, Brent. This is why I'm thinking the price might not be so bad. You're going to, in addition, get the Sarlacc Pit. Now, it's called the Sarlacc Pit, so I'm thinking that might be the focus in the bulk of the parts. Yeah. And we should get some big parts with the, with with the chompers and all that stuff going yeah. on. But you are going to get, Brent, a desert skiff and a small – oh, wait – you get a skiff and a small Sarlacc pit. Okay, so I, what I just said, erase that. Maybe the skiff is the focus. Yeah. Okay, like... escape. Okay, you got to escape on the vehicle. Whatever, guys. I don't care if this was 220 pieces. I'm buying this thing. Um, yeah. And you get the, the unknown uh, anniversary figure with that. So we well, know this is going to go. Um, oh, this is what the unknown anniversary fig is going to come in. Interesting. Um, but no, I, I mean, like. you know who it is, though. Chad, hit me up. Who do we know? Oh, Nino. Oh, Cal Kestis, maybe? No. 
that's in something else, I think. Oh, here we go. <laughs> See, yeah, I was about to put that up there. Nine numb. That would be honestly, bro. I would. I would be pumped having nine numb in the freaking in the mix. Oh, Cal's and the Death Star. is gonna come in. Cal's in the Death Star. Place there you go. Me? I knew everybody would jump right in. What's this Death Star playset gonna even look like? So it looks like I, I believe know. it's gonna be like in the boardroom, you know, where they're like this, this discussing plans at the desk, you know, that kind of thing. Was well, it gonna be like a, a diorama of that? Super Saiyan Luke was the last Jedi. I mean, yeah, yeah, but it's, it's still, don't bring that up right now, okay? Ray was the last Jedi. Leia may not be the anniversary fig anymore. Okay, well that that could be interesting, bro. If that is the case, I'd be okay, a okay with that. Because I think out of out of the whole, out of the whole lineup, I think like Kid Leia is probably the weakest that no one's really. Damn. Leia, R2, KT, and Cal. Yeah. So Leia might get the boot then, I think. Bro. If she did, I'd be hyped because... <laughs> I mean, it's it just seems like... And I said it before, but like, if you're doing anniversary figures, like, it's like that just came out in a show very recently. Like, I don't know, do something, do something cooler. There you go. So I'm I'm pretty stoked on that one, Brent. I don't know. You... Oh, dude, it's gonna go hand in hand with the barge. I mean, like you're getting the barge, you got to get that. You almost can't have one without the other. So it really, it's just a barge, boys. Uh, it's like a the sail barge enhancer because you're gonna need that. X Mansion. I know we've been covering this one, following this one for a while. Three Hunge, three thousand ninety four pieces. It's gonna be a, a definitely a girthy boy set on that one. Ten minifigs. You got Wolvie, Cyclops, Mystique, Beast. Storm, Professor X, Magneto, and more. So it's not completely locked down on, on that one. Um, and then this one was discussed in a Discord, which, by the way, guys, we're on Discord. You guys should give us a follow. There's some fantastic conversation. You can hang out with the boys. I probably should get a link somewhere for you <laughs> when I mention that. <laughs> but uh, if one of you guys in the Discord could post that, especially if you have a wrench by your name, that would be awesome. But uh, this one's been discussed a lot in there. Brent, I think this is this is an absolute heater without a doubt. I just, for me, I still don't have the space shuttle yet. And I definitely got to take care mm -hmm. of business on that before I get this one. But this looks amazing. The bridge looks amazing on this one. Um, the launch pad, you know, like that whole area, that whole scene. The rocket's cool. All of it's very cool. Um, yeah. I mean, that's the only thing I have against is I don't have the shuttle and I got to grab that before it retires. Yeah, I mean... I think this is really awesome. I think it's one of the like cooler space sets to come out. But for me, it's like I feel similar about this as the X Mansion. Like it's another three hundred dollars set that's really cool. But I just would rather invest that three hundred dollars in some other other stuff I'm going after still. But this is great for the uh, for the space fans, and I hope the X Mansion is amazing. I'm just not that huge. This boy into either is, one of those things. This boy is thirty six hunch and one pieces. Yeah, I mean, hey, she's got to wear counts. I might see this in person at a Lego store and be like, okay, I might get this, especially if it goes on sale. You know what this <laughs> does for me, though, man? It looks enough like the rocket boosters that I wish was on the shuttle. You know what I mean, Brent? I wish this was mm -hmm. strapped on the belly of the shuttle instead. Right, but, right. Yeah, you know. Still, I mean, it's um, it's gonna. I mean, you got if you got the if you already got the Saturn Five and you got a lot of other. Hey, Sean, stuff, get the I mean, shuttle already, dude! I keep going to get it, and then they keep just dropping all these. You know, it's insane. The, the, the lineup. I, I will. There are a few things that are definitely happening before they go. I'm gonna put it into the world right now, so we make sure all of it happens. I still need the ATAT, and I definitely need the shuttle. There's probably one or two more, but like those are really high up there as far as like must get before they go down. I, you know. I don't know. By the way, Girth Gang, does anybody who did you guys say was it a video or does somebody actually have a list view of any of the May Fourth promos as far as discos discounts? Let me know where it is. We'll we'll check that out as part of the discussion tonight. Because um, somebody said tubes is thirty percent off. Like, where is this coming from? If it's was a video, it, was, did Brick Clicker have a post about it? No, like I didn't see that. No. Oh, okay. Not quite sure what it is. They're saying brick clicker. Maybe it was in the like video. Anthony. Where are you seeing quadruple points for May 
May the 4th. Um, let me know because, you know, maybe that list is complete somewhere. Click a vid. Click a vid. First post. Did I miss it? Okay, hold on. Let me see. I don't know why they just wouldn't just have this on lego.com already for us to see. Hmm. Because they already have, like, the the May the 4th, like, menu. So I don't know why they wouldn't is just... There, uh... Is there more to this? Oh, wow. Wow, we messed up. Okay. <laughs> I messed the, up. Oh, is it there? Because I was looking to see... Yeah, it, there, it, he did one of those multi-posts, and I always forget to check it. All right, oh, let's scroll go, over. Let's go oh, okay. through this, boys. Here we go. Four times... Insider points, which, Brent, if my math is correct, that's about 20% back in uh, insider points. Looks like we have got the E-Wing versus Shin Hati. Highly, highly recommend that. I think I still need that. I might cop. Highly recommend that. The X-Wing, the UCS X-Wing, which, by the way, guys, in in these uh, these TIE Interceptor videos, my boy's taking a bit of a beating. You know, everyone's like, this is a lot better than the x way It's like, let's settle yeah. down. Let's just settle down for one effing moment before we start getting out, out of control there. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a Saginaw situation in the wings, but it's still got it where it counts. The ATAT, speak of the devil, is on there. Oh, boy. Uh, we've got... Um, we, we've got the Coruscant Guard gunship, and there it is, man. The legend, the dopest set available right now, Brent, Dude. of all times right now. Now, let's shelf. just – I might be reaching, like, insanely, but maybe not insanely because, I mean, I know they're – and, like, because the, the Lego book that comes out, they mention, like, they pay attention to, like, you know, the Lego YouTubers and what they have to say about things. We were just hyping up how great the cantina was. That would be crazy if somehow, some way, whoever makes these decisions at Lego, like, what should go four times off? What's what's some good Star Wars sets for people to buy right now? Of course, you put, you know, the AT AT in there. And no, last dude, year's no, that was already. Set. Are you trying to give a Cobb credit for getting the Cantina? First I mean, of all, was it was it four it times last sense. year? Well, let me tell you something. It doesn't make sense because <laughs> no, I'm messing around. I, I know you are, but hear me out. If if we if we made it hype, then they wouldn't have to put it on sale. You know what I'm saying? Like but if you hype it really... enough, why would you put it on sale if people? Yeah, want? but this stuff isn't really on sale. We're just getting more VIP points for them. You know what I mean? I know because think about it. Twenty percent, twenty why four, four times is twenty percent off back in VIP. So why isn't uh if it was Lego Star Wars sets and we're selling well, like tubes should be up here. Uh, some of the overpriced we're not done, stuff. Brad. There's should be up more. Here. Oh, there's more. Okay, okay, okay. But wait, there's more. Here we go. Tubes now, okay. So, those are your four times. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! The okay. ghost, these are just a straight 30% off, right? Is that right? Is it say the percent? No, is it? Oh, well, I guess you can, yeah, about 30 because look, 200 down to 164. Yeah, so well, no, because that's only 15% no, because the throne off. room is only 15% room, yeah. off. I don't it's know. 15%. We'll have to math it, guys. But tubes is 165. Uh, so FPJ is not buying any, but uh, you know, for the culture, I, it might be time, Brent. It might be. <laughs> I'm, time. I'm still not, dude. I think, but the thing is, is like if I get the smaller scale R2D2 and then they're doing 3P, like, and and quite frankly, my pick for the you know, if you were going to run a non UCS category in that tournament we ran a few weeks back. You yeah. almost have to give the tournament to the Ghost Phantom brand. 129, I mean, that's a schmoker right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I haven't picked up that yet. You know, this is the thing. Typically in the past, especially for the last, like, three or four May the 4ths I've been a part of, when May the 4th rolls around and you got to strategize a little bit to, you know, hit the G-Dub. Thank you, Mark, for mathing for me. Hey, 18% thank you. off. Um. Usually when May the 4th rolls around, I already have so much of the stuff. I'm like, what do I buy? Because I already have so much of it, you know? But I think because I've laid off <laughs> buying so- the Dusty Boys. Shout out to Hive. Hive, the- ladies and gentlemen, Hive has entered the building. Shout out to Hive. I shouted him out when I was feeding Did you? My bad, my earlier. bad, my bad. I think he was well, in he the pre-play game. I don't know if he just got well, here. You know, I, I think I he was here for pre-play, and now he's here now. 
Ghost is 19% Mark off. is mathing hard over there. Ghost mathing is 19 Mathing to the T. 17 and a half percent off, you know. <laughs> well, we know CPA's got the number. Plus your insider points, 200 points. The Throne Boy is an easy 15. That one I could just eyeball, but you know, yeah. I got to be honest, man. Best best deal of the 3 by far right here right now goes Phantom. Uh yeah, what a, what Ghost a Phantom for one thirty is really number good. one. You know, you're not seeing that anywhere else, right? This one's not at this one's not at Target. It's not at Walmart. Uh, you know, it's at Lego store. It's an Amazon exclusive. Now, if there's inventory, and there might should there likely will be during Black Friday, they might do something wacky with that one. But like, I'd I'd feel good yeah. about one thirty on that one. If Tubes is still less than twenty percent off, and it is. Uh, I might actually wait on that because you know Tubes is going to hit twenty percent off one day. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. And we've already seen the diorama shoes. in some stores for eighty bucks. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, though that diorama, that's not a crazy good deal for that diorama. People were getting lucky and finding it on clearance for like seventy even. Um, yeah, but no, this makes me excited, Sean, because like I was saying, like I, I'm not as up to date on as much of the Lego Star Wars stuff as I want to be. And some of it is because I wasn't too super crazy about some of the stuff coming out and, you know, I'm busy with vacations and kids and stuff like that. But now I've got options because it's like the last couple of May the 4th. It's like, I don't really know what I need to get. I don't really want this. I kind of want that. But now I got to, I might even like, I know Sean's probably doubling up on the, on the G dub, but like I was only going to get, just get the GWP, like spend the one sixty and get out of there. But I, <laughs> I might double up. I might double up. Yeah. Some of these so deals. huge, huge shout out to dear friend of the show, Brent, and and you know a, a star on on ACOP, quite frankly, the brick <laughs> clicker for laying it down. And guys, here is a list, Brent. I don't know. Let me try to zoom. I'm going to ask you to. Can you see these, Brent? Um. Yes. Can fairly you, well. Can you go down some of the highlights? I'm going to get rid of this banner. I realize it's in the way of stuff. Oh yeah. Go ahead. I got to go grab some water. Can you uh, chat the boys through some of the? Two times points, which will be ten percent back to you and insider, so and I will be this right whole back. list is two times. Yes, sir. Okay, so the whole list you're gonna get two times VIP. Uh, we got Obi Wan and Darth Vader. Uh, I think is I don't know if that's just the uh, the brickheads or something. I don't know. Uh, the Tuscan Raider brickhead, uh, Commander Cody. I think that's the brickhead, or it might be the helmet. Uh, then we got um, one of them. Just says the Phantom Menace. Is that the new Phantom Menace Brickheads? We got the Darth Vader helmet. Uh, Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter, one of mine and Tyler's favorite sets. Uh, the Mandalorian helmet. Uh, Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, solid. Shout out to Tonwi. Uh, Boba Fett's Starship Microfighter. Shout out to the $17. Or oh, that one's not $17. Shout out to Microfighters. Um, let's see. 501st Box of Boys. Uh, we got Snub Fighter. TIE Bomber. Captain Rex's helmet, Cody Commander's or Cody Commander, <laughs> Commander Cody's helmet, Boosh helmet. Apparently, every single helmet is just going to be double points. Uh, indoor speeder diorama. We've got the Super Star Destroyer. We've got the Jedi, the Four Plus Jedi Temple. Don't get that for two times. You can I. Speaking of the uh, Jedi Temple, the Four Plus Jedi Temple, I almost bought one today, at my Walmart, because it was even cheaper than I've seen it. $19, but they still had like 30 of them. So I'm like, I might, it might drop again. It might go down to $10 because nobody wants these. So yeah, don't, don't waste your time with that. You can find that set for very cheap on clearance. Just keep looking. Uh, we got so we, both boxes of boys. They got the Ahsoka clone troopers are going to be double points. That's always nice. Good to see a good deal with the box of boys. Uh, Yoda starfighter, the spider tank, We've got the T6. We've got the N1 Starfighter. We've got the Darth Vader. It looks like all three of the mechs. Darth Vader, Boba, Stormtrooper, mech. <laughs> Damn near. I don't even know if there's going to be any Star Wars sets that you won't get a deal on. I mean, I guess the new stuff, the brand new stuff, but it's a lot of stuff in here. So after the mechs, we've got the uh, ooh, the, the new box of boys, the Clone Trooper and Droid Battle Pack. So we have all three current box of boys on this list so that's nice to get a little bit of deal uh, a little bit of a deal with every single box of boys that they have available uh millennium falcon i'm assuming that's the 
Maybe that's not the UCS. It just says Millennium Falcon. So maybe that's the... I think that is the MIDI scale because then we got the Tantive and the Invisible Hand. So yeah, probably all three MIDI scale sets. Sean, I was just mentioning how we have all three boxes of boxes of boys on this list. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I, look, MIDI real scales. quick, Brent. Yeah, I didn't hear yeah. all of it. But guys, what I'm looking for on this is LEGO Store exclusives, quite frankly. Yeah. Uh, maybe stuff that's already discounted and stacking up. Because again... A lot of this stuff you're seeing 20 percent off on the reg you know out at yeah the, i was yeah the stores i was mentioning that uh about a couple of these sets because they have the uh like the four plus jedi temple and that thing dude thank you smoky uh, <laughs> dude the four plus jedi temple forever it was it was initially clearanced for like 24 like that's not terrible but you know it's gonna go farther <laughs> But we, my Walmart has like 30 of them just stacked up on the shelves. Like they even have them up top. Um, and I saw them today for 19 and I almost got one. But I'm thinking, bro, these things still aren't moving for 19 $40 set mm. or however much it was. So I think they're even going to drop to like $10. So, yeah, especially that set. Like some of these you're going to see on deeper clearance than just getting double VIP for sure. But if you need a new box of boys and you need to spend 30 bucks more to hit the Gita, whatever. <laughs> And someone mentioned earlier that it's everything but the Venny. Does that seem to be accurate? That seems pretty accurate because as I was going through all these, it's like all the helmets, it's all the mechs. It's oh, like there's more. The Here you go. <laughs> no, it's, it's on everything. there. Oh, no exclusions. Every... Here's the exclusions, Brent. Oh, okay, so like R2, D2, UCS. Well, yeah, because they want you to buy the new one. Uh, the Razor Crest isn't on there. The ATTE, Luke's Land Speeder, Mandalorian Fang Fighter, Yavin 4, Rebel Base, uh, the Venator. Oh, and the new R two D two. Both R2 Rise R2 of Skywalker R2. Falcon not included. That's interesting. Oh yeah, sorry, I started with UCS R two D two, but yeah, both other Falcons. So the only Falcon you can get a deal on is the MIDI. That's interesting. Yeah, like why wouldn't they want to move more Luke's land speeders? We all know Walmart tried to. <laughs> I know. Why isn't like oh. Yavin's getting diskies all over the place? Hey, I'll now, tell you too. what though. Like yeah. one thing I'm not salty about is seeing no deals for the for the Razor Crest because I caught that on that deal last year where it was like 420 bucks that's 180 off boys yeah so that was that was i had to jump all over that were there points on that too uh i can't remember <coughs> it's just it was around it was like later in the year like not quite black friday or it was around the black friday time but it was when they had like four or five just pages of stuff on sale that was when like the uh uh black panther was getting going on crazy sale some of the other big sets that were kind of moving slow like the roller one of the roller coasters was on crazy sale. i want to say yeah i want to say it was like double points on it too it was a pretty nasty deal and been. i remember i had, I had like... oh no it was because i remember tyler was streaming actually and somebody in tyler's stream was like yo like right now while there's double points you can also like the you know, because it was at only like maybe I want to say like a hundred bucks off or something, and then it went down to it was four hundred and twenty plus the points. And like I was literally chilling in a Tyler stream. Somebody pointed that out, and yeah. I think even Tyler, I think even Tyler bought one, and he isn't crazy about the set at all. But he was like, "Ah, eh, it's just a pretty good deal." So, on a UCS set, doesn't always happen, dude. And you know, I, we're kind of going to working a little bit backwards here. And I know we saw some of this yeah. before, but the retro radio looks awesome. We'll cover that in the future. As well as the Lego store delivery truck, dude. I, Bro, I, I'll be I've all a, over that. I've seen retro ones, and I've looked them yeah. up, and they're like super expensive. So I would yes. definitely cop at a at a at a, oh, yeah. at a regular price. So I would love to get something like that. I'm seeing so, Nine Nub down there. Maybe Nine Nub is coming out in something. Yeah, well, it would make sense. I think it makes sense. Um, I'd love to get a Nine Nub. I'm going to go ahead, guys. We're going to jump into the main event topic for this evening. We're going to talk GWPs. Of course, we'll start uh, with, you know, um, the May the 4th stuff. We'll go on the website. Brent, I know you've got a lot of thoughts and feelings and emotion about a lot uh, of thoughts and what, feelings. We, what we are, what we are getting. Um, what up, Hudson? He says, let's go. Brent, while oh. I'm pulling it up, you know, what, what, what start 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 your build on on what's going on with this droid yeah, where do you carrier, want, man where do you want me to start where do you want me to start with the main gwp are we gonna work our way let's, get, no, let's i don't know should we main event if, yeah we can work our way for the from the bottom but brent's brent's got a lot to say about they uh, they have them all on lego.com i am i'm like going to it right now okay okay so 
I guess before we we hit a, a specific on these GWPs, they just did it so like I don't want to harp on Amberu too much here, but like Amberu was a perfect example. Like if the, if they're not gonna give us like they used to do it where it was just a poly bag of a new exclusive figure, obviously a lot of people would love that. But, like, if they want to do, like, everybody hated those little, like, micro dioramas. Because it's like, oh, well, they want to try to give you a build instead of a fig. But they just did it so perfect with Amberu. They did it so good. And I think Sean would agree. I think a lot yeah, of you I mean, guys look, would agree. I understand uh, not everyone would necessarily ride for Amberu specifically. Uh, Lord but knows. the idea, the concept. Correct. Lord knows we do. I mean, we're about to have our third, an <laughs> third annual Amberu yeah. May the 4th spectacular you know we were very agreeable and guys just just to warn you you know she's coming <laughs> amber she's coming soon she's got her bag she's got her pistol she's ready amber coming real soon well we're gonna do that the week uh days leading up to uh the it's actually may 1st we keep saying may the 4th there you go amber buyer's guide uh that's coming up hj as a promo would have been awesome but guys we're gonna do that probably a day or two uh, before the release, and that will be effectively a GWP. That will not be a regular ACOB stream. It'll be a bonus app for the boys. We'll probably do a power hour. We're going to run through it. I've already reached yeah. out to our friend Ryan. He has accepted. Ryan will be on for, for that one. Uh, don't say anything, but, you know, could we maybe rope in the newly returned Tyler? We'll see. Um, but he may not be ready for all that yet. But uh, definitely Ryan is on board for that. We're going to go through these. We're going to give you combos to hit the GWP, all the stuff you guys have come to expect. And I do encourage you guys, if you're looking for something to watch, check out last year's. I thought it, I, I rewatched it recently, Brent. It was a fun show last year. So Yeah, it's always yeah. a good time. I actually quick, might quick, quick, go quick back plug, and check it you out. Know, plug, plug of an upcoming show that we're excited about. Go ahead, Brent. Uh, yeah, Amperu's like, I know you're in the middle of something, but I will say that to me was the start of like, I thought that was perfect. I mean, again, yeah. you might not you might not love Baru, and I get that. And you'd rather some people would rather just have a clone. I, I get it, but to have a, a unique, um, you, to have an exclusive figure and a cool little build, an environment build, man, yeah. I would have eaten up as much of that as they dished out. They could have done that for the next ten years, yeah. and I'd have been a happy boy. Yeah. So, well, before I get into what I'm going to say, shout out to Matt. He said his first show was the last year's Ambrose buyer guide, buyers buyers guide well, nice man <laughs> i really really butchered that one but yeah it's a good good first one to start off anyways but yeah like if, if you don't love Ambru, i get it it's random character it's not a clone it's not a jedi it's not a sith but like the idea of an exclusive figure you would never really get in another situation and a cool build to go with it is to me perfect now to flip that around it's like what you don't want a named character in is uh oh wait you really can't look at any of that if you're... it let me look at the uh which one did you try to click on the coin i don't know i'm gonna log in no it's fine i was gonna say the coin gonna it makes you have to money. sign in anyways i'll ramble about what i'm saying while you're doing that but like to flip the other side of the uh, opposite end of the coin like what you don't want a named character in is something like a battle pack something that you're gonna accumulate a lot why because it doesn't make sense to have a bunch of like named characters you only need one and so to flip that back around us getting a armyable set for a gwp i know a lot of people are f cool with it because it is a, such a cool set but for me it's like it's just it's just misplaced like i want like six of them or like ten of them. <laughs> why not i mean if you're gonna if you're gonna get a bunch of clones then who are they gonna fight like you got to get some droids to go up to go along with them and i mean so, and now, like, I'm still excited I'm getting it. It's a Phantom Menace thing also, so it's cool to see that. But, I don't know, I've harped on, I've, I've expressed how I felt about about it a lot, but I mean, so I don't want to sound like I'm beating a dead horse here, but to me, my opinion is that, like, it's just an army build. Like, if, if we were going to get a box of boys, like a really dope box of boys, like just plain P1 clones... Mm -hmm. But it was a GWP. What do you think, Sean? Do you think some of these people that are like, what is happening here? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Like, I won't let me. See I don't know. It won't let me uh, into the world, you know. But uh, I wanted to see more deets on it. But guys, yeah, apparently this is an insider exclusive. 
Uh, coin Battle of Yavin. I'm in on it. Yeah. I definitely like it. Uh, well, you know, if it makes you feel any not, better when you do click on it, they don't have any other pictures of it other than that picture, what you're seeing. Oh, so. look at this. So it's an insider's gift. So, oh, wait, okay. Well, there was something where you had to actually redeem points. So this is it's 90. The, it's, the, it's the thing that's right next to it. The poster. Yeah. 1,800 yeah. points. Okay. I don't know. Do you care about this at all, Sean? million percent. I, kinda, I, th I think this is probably the coolest. You like it? GW. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I it's not a glossed, DWP, but I love it. Yeah. I kind of glossed it. over it a little bit. Wait, is it? So it's it's 18,000 or 1,800 points? 1,800, yeah. Yep. I want it. I want, But it's one of those things where I'm not going to be, like, heartbroken if it's sold out real quick. So, yeah. You know, I, I get the art styles not for everyone, but I like it. Well, so I'm, I don't know, like, I'm just hoping, oh, I think someone did say actually how big it's going to be. I think it's like 11 by 7 inches, so it's not tiny by any means, but like for, I don't know, honestly, right now I'm just checking to see. I don't even know if I have that many VIP points, like, <laughs> currently to get it, but. Hey, I'll Cody, where, it. where, where is the other coin that you showed me today? I thought it would be on Insiders. Can you tell me? There's another oh, coin, Brent, and you're going to freak. You're going to freak. I guarantee this next thing I show you, you're going to want the most. Really? So, okay. So, but it, is it in the same box as the other coin? Is that what's. So about fourteen dollars is the cost of the poster. I'm 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 at peace with that. I, if I can get it, I'll oh, get it. But like I said, I'm not going to freak out. The poster. Listen to this. The poster is eighteen hundred, right? I have seventeen forty eight VIP points. No, guys. There's another <laughs> coin, and I don't want to spoil what it is because it's a friggin'. I, I don't like heater is not even the word, dude. It's like next level heater. I, we're gonna have to keep elevating it, Brent. But I loved. I mean, I can. I could, I could show a text, I guess. That's kind of sloppy, though. Where? Stone Wars IG. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, check this out. Um, Brent, are you ready? Hold on to your butts. I'm going to full screen. Take a closer look here. Check this out, oh, is Brent. Is that it? Oh, yep. 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 <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Way cooler than the other one. Cooler than the whatever the Death Star coin we got last year. I forgot I even had in my collection. That is cool. That is so, cool. So it's, now, that's another completely separate, different thing. How do you get that thing? Do we, What There's do we know, cool. guys? But, guys, what about that thing? That is beautiful. That's the best coin I think they've ever made. I hope you don't have to redeem it only in Germany? points for it. No. No. If that's something we don't get in America, I'm oh, so good. salty. It's gonna be up. Oh, he just sent me a DM. Hold on. Oh, I don't know if it was a link to this. A raging loner. Guys, is this Dude, only hold on? Let me check the DM. Me that's only in Germany. Because then it's probably gonna be expensive to buy on Bricklink or something. No. I'm gonna so, see. That's so much cooler. Than let me any get of the let me get to coins. the bat phone here real quick. <laughs> That's so much cooler. I'm taking a picture of it coin. and I'm sending it to Ryan, and I'm gonna say, "Bro, yeah." Chat I, says hello. I need a, <laughs> I need, a, I need answers. And will this be in the U.S.? We need a answers. German exclusive. Oh man, we need answers. All right, we'll see what he says. Someone else is saying there's an R2 keychain in Germany as well. <laughs> I have a throbbing schnitzel right now. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> at my bratwurst is. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I know. I hope I didn't like ruin everyone's night with that because if that's not available here, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a pretty penny. What do you think, Brenna Hunge? Probably <laughs> like to get one, dude. It's gonna be. Ugh. By the way, we have a get. lot of UK uh, folks out there. Shout out to our UK viewers, replay gang, live viewers, Padawan, the whole nine yard, uh, Whitaky. 
Is there anybody who can get over to Germany and like? Oh, wait, know, can like, can't we get on the Germany website? How do we switch that? <laughs> My broad is so hard right now. <laughs> switch I, the I German site. Good idea. We could probably do, do you, that. How do you do it? I forget, I forget where to click for that. Got to impress that fraud line. Oh, I know. What does that mean? Is it all the way at the bottom? Maybe. No, it's all good, guys. It's all good. Do you have it figured out? The German Damn it! My night's version? ruined. I well. <laughs> So Lake sent me this earlier, and I thought it would just be part of the thing, you know. The all right, guys. Well, see, it's like just be grateful for what you have. But man, when there's something out there like that, all right. Twelve days, guys. Twelve day countdown on that. Um, all right, Brent. Sorry, let's get focused here. So you're 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 kind of mid. Uh, well, obviously you'll take the free coin if you're spending ninety. Sure. Our now that print, I've seen the other one, though, I'm like, what? Yeah. I mean, it's a free coin. I'm going to be spending ninety anyway. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but now that our, I know about this other our one, print. <laughs> we'll see if you care on that one. Let's get into look the AAT. It's typical. They throw you that. Very nice of them. We appreciate it. Yeah. I've already got one or two of them. Let's get into it, Brent, and then we can get into sort of your overarching thoughts on GWPs, but what do you think about the set, how they're handling it? You have been texting me relentlessly since this broke, and I really want to get your opinion on it. I have my own, but you're you're pretty fired up. Yeah, I mean, I've said a lot. Uh, so to anyone that was, like, listening to me, like, bitch about this during the GWP or whatever, and you've heard enough of it, yeah, no, I get it. But... It's just, it's it's like so good, and but it's so misplaced. I love it. It's beautiful. Box art, fire, plenty of droids. You get a couple special droids in there. Oh, come on, moments. We're allowed to look at, what are you talking about? You, you can't look at leaks. <laughs> Settle down. It's like half of our show. What are, you, what are you doing to me here? Right. No, it's just, I like it a lot, man. But I just, I'm, I'm standing so firm on the, can't like, on the grounds of this should not be a GWP. Like I think, and now I get, I get it. Some people think it's a great GWP, but I feel like to anyone thinking that this is like a perfect GWP, it's like, okay, to flip this around, how do you feel when Lego does a battle pack and they put Jedi in it? You know, you don't need to have a bunch of a named character. None of these are named characters. This is something that it would be great to have multiples of. You can't have multiples of it. So to me, it's like, this is like a 7 out of 10 GWP, but it could be a 10 out of 10 set to break that down into kind of simpler terms. But it just frustrates me, dude. Like, I, I want to be able to buy more than one of these. So, I don't know. And what sucks is now they're going to have all these Lego deals. I was going to stand, stand firm and, and not really protest because I'm still getting one, but I was going to be like, I'm only getting one of these. But now I'll probably end up freaking getting two because they're going to have a bunch of decent deals on a lot of stuff I don't have yet. But, yeah. I will say I, box art's coming up a lot, guys. Look. I, box art's you, fire. You know. It should I, be a regular it, set. It just, this just screams what we've been saying on this show. I know it's not the most original take. You guys have been – a lot of you guys have been saying it. But can we bring back the fun box art for crying out loud, dude? This is so rad. It's perfect. You're right there in the scene. And – you know, imagine if this had black box art, how lame it would be. You know, it's just it would be super. You know, it's funny, too, is like some people are complimenting like the the tie interceptor box art. And I'm just like, why? Imagine how sick it would have been like with the old school. It would have been a cool time to bring it back. 25th anniversary. But nope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the could they relist them after May fourth for thirty bucks? So let's let's get into this because I've 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 heard this one oh, bandied about, Brent. Let me throw be, the, let me throw this to you and the gang. That'd be the most Lego thing ever. Would you guys be about, mad at that, or would you be cool with it? So they they put <laughs> this out. Hold on, let me give you a scenario, Brent. I know you're saving for Brick World, but let's just go through a little little, little baby scenario here. Okay. Now you're going to spend one sixty to get at least one. You go one of two ways because I know you're going to want two of these. I'm assuming you'll at least want two. You're going to go one of two ways. I did want ways. one, but now I'm going to get two of them probably. There you go. Now, you can go one of two ways. Are you going to – you could spend another 160 or 
you could test your luck on the aftermarket, which I'm thinking, what do you think of Brent? Like, not not like day one what it'll go for, because I think it might go pretty high, like 70 bucks, maybe 80. Yeah. I think it'll yeah. settle around 40 to 50, maybe after yeah. it settles down. So it's like you could go one of two routes, right? You could spend another 160 and get yeah. another one. I, or you can wait and get a secondary boy on the market. What what would yeah. you do? So what I'm gonna do is definitely probably just get two of them and then maybe get a third if they're yeah. if they're at a decent price. But the thing is is like I would be probably only getting one and then maybe trying to get another one on the aftermarket to see what happens. But because I haven't bought much Lego in the recent like six months, like like I said earlier, there's a lot of stuff I haven't picked up yet. A lot of like I don't have the ghost yet. I, and there's a lot of I don't have probably won't get Chewbacca, but like there's a lot of other stuff. And if most most of these Lego Star Wars sets are going to be on some kind of deal, I'll probably put two orders in just because there'll be the, enough stuff that I still need. Battle so, droids are a buck, but I think the pilots. I, I mean, I'm not saying they're going to be like heaters, but they'll probably be like five, maybe. Yeah, depending. What up, shy? Hey what Brent, up, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Can you text Shy and remind him that it's our time? That it's our time. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. That was one of those. <laughs> that was one of those moments, guys. It was like the show was about to start. It was. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying it for a while because I I still get funny every time I think about it. I, and I didn't even say it to be funny. <laughs> like I was just, it was like it was like in a panic. Brent see me before the shows. I'm like, dude, text shy. <laughs> <laughs> It was fine. Text shy and tell him it's text shy. Okay. Time and tell so him Brent, it's you've done. Time. Okay. So now we're going to continue your story. Okay. You spent the one sixty, and look, hey, you lucked out. Marketplace came through, man. You got a second one for twenty five, thirty bucks. Okay. You got two mm-hmm. of them. You're sitting there. You're having a good time. It'll go in your little stack behind you, and you know you'll look at it. All of a sudden, July. They throw it. See, I don't know if they'll have the balls to flat out release this as a set again. No, but, but they I'm might wondering. Bring it back as but I'm GWP wondering if they again. bring it back as like, you know, hey, hey, we found some. Now, before you answer that, if this sells out, how dirty is that? Because remember what happened to you with the Mickey thing. Remember that sold out, and they, yeah. I think they brought it back. Like some of these, well, I'll be ready out. at midnight. I mean, I know that, but like. What's worse, they bring it back as a G dub or release it as a set? I think they release it as a set again. It's worse because if, especially if I was if I was a little bit more caught up on on Lego Star Wars and I was maybe buying some second copies of some stuff that I really didn't need or whatever, I didn't really mm-hmm. get anything that I wanted to get them. And I already bought a so I bought if I if I'm in a position where I bought a bunch of shit I didn't need and then I and then they release it as a set I'd be pissed. But I mean, <laughs> let's let's say I get I get two, one way or another. Whether I put in two orders to get a couple of them or I get one on an order and then I get one on the aftermarket, whatever. If they release it as a set, like I'll. I'll be annoyed. I wouldn't say like pissed off. I would be really annoyed, but I'd still <laughs> be like, all right, I can't wait to get them on clearance and buy 10 for $20. Let me get so. up some comments. Shout out to Darren Cole over the pond gang. Not sure why I'm still awake, dude. Yeah. Get some oh. sleep. We'll be here for you Speak, in the morning. Dude. Speaking of catching up some Hold comments on real, quick. real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Real quick. And then a huge shout out to bearded bricks for joining the stream. Good to see you guys. Hey. Go check out. He's got a stream. Sorry, bud. Remind me what night it is, uh, but go check him out. It's a fun time over there is a tuesday wednesday either way uh it's a good time over at bearded bricks stream great dudes over there very informative definitely cool if you're uh a mock smith and you like that sort of stuff but in addition to that it's just fun conversation too man so oh, yeah. shout out to bearded bricks um, i think it's wednesday i think it's wednesday um and then real quick mark was mentioning you know he feels the way you feel about this about maple okay maple the <laughs> animal crossings character was done dirty um speaking of curveballs what do you guys think the chances are that lego ninja drops another set like they did with the super star destroyer that's right dude do you remember that was a shock drop i called it we call it the a shock, shock drop. drop yeah 
Yeah. All right, Brent. Sorry if you. I, I just wanted to get caught up on some stuff. What were you wanting to no, say? No, you're there? good. A couple other things we got to get caught up on is because I don't think we've done any of the super chats besides this one earlier. Fifty five oh, days till Brick World. But yeah. thank you, Austin, for that four ninety nine. Austin came through again with another four ninety nine and said, "Just cause fifty five days and I." <laughs> Until I'm max drenched, if you know, if you know. Oh yeah, I forgot he really dumped a freaking bottle of water on his head in your birthday video. I forgot. About That's that. right. That's right. Brick World came through with the two dollar super chat, and they're a channel member. You guys need to mock. We probably, you know, I I do want to get into mocking at some point in my life. We'll see. We'll see what's up. And we got a brand new member to the girth gang i think, I think he's a return he's a returning member. i think yeah. he's yeah i was gonna say i think dave was already he, here he, before he, so. re-upped his, he re-upped his policy but, yeah. yeah so welcome back to the girth gang dave gg the girth gang just got girthier there you go all right and, and guys look, just, real, real quick i do want to i do want to touch on uh members you guys are amazing and look we 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 want to recognize you more so uh, than than just calling out that your members in the in the in the chats and everything, and uh, you know, we've got to talk to Brent about it in more details. But Brent, we do need to start doing you know some some membo only for the boys of the boys kind of Bro, chats. It'd be, cool. be like a variant G Dub. You know, we're still getting third yeah. G Dubs, guys. We're not going to put a bunch of stuff behind a paywall, but some of these boys have been going hard for well over a year at this point, and like. Mm-hmm. You know, we're, we, you know, we got, we got e- emojis and stuff like that, but we, you know, we got some stuff out there that we want to do and we're going to do some stuff with the, with the members. So, um, if you're not aboard, now's a good time, Brent, I'm thinking some brick world exclusive looks behind yeah. the scenes. Like, I, I think just, like, just, a, yeah, we're not taking anything away. We're just going to see if we can do yeah. some, some added value think, for uh, the boys. Yeah. Well, I even think a member only giveaway would be cool too. <laughs> For sure. Like we, for sure. Like hey, I just want you guys to know that we, we, we see you and we recognize and we're going to own up to like we we should be doing more, Brent. And I know Brent agrees with that. And like we're going to we're going to do right. more for you guys because you guys are like you guys have been you know rocking with us uh, and, and supporting in that way. And so we want to do some some extra value. And again, nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. Um, but we want to we want to do some stuff for them. OK, point is made. Go ahead, Brent. Anyways, what are we going back to? This this set again? You're so mad about this. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, man. It's just like I, I don't know. I was I'm shocked to see some people be a hundred percent cool with this that like to army build things. I would assume that they would want it as an army builder. I don't know. Like I'm I'm standing firm that as a GWP, this is like a seven out of ten. As a set, ten out of ten. It makes sense to have more than one of these. So that's where I'm at. And boys, uh, I've just been informed details to follow, but uh, surprise, we're going to be doing a giveaway tonight uh, hey. sponsored sponsored by your boy Tyler, who's, you know, look, it's crawl, walk, run. Okay. He showed yeah, up on the G dub creeping back into the you, scene. You know how it is guys. You got to stretch <laughs> a little, but Tyler would like to do a giveaway for the boys tonight. So keep, get your thumbs ready. I'm getting, details on exactly what it is and i don't know if it's this but i'm going to show um a picture that that tyler sent us i'm going to full screen myself here but uh i don't know if this is the giveaway okay i'm not saying it is but he did say also show the boys this it is oh well there you go he's got a case of those new boys right there all right so brent what is the giveaway is it a pat is it a is it a cmf it it is one of these uh, this is the space cmf isn't it it is yeah so tyler wanted to uh give away one of these early cmf minifigs to the girth gang tonight tonight live on acop so well geez you, guys i mean we're is there any time better better than now brent i mean we could we could come up with a hashtag let me uh let yeah, me set it say, up. i think we come up with a hashtag right now i think it's uh well it's got to be life bricks on this one Hashtag life bricks. Yeah, I think so. But the guys do not do it yet. Let me set it up. Yeah, don't do Go it on, yet. Brent. I'm going to set this up real quick. Yeah. So I think it's a it, shout out to Tyler again. I mean, like he literally him just showing up in the comment section on the GWP a couple days ago was electric. I mean, seeing everybody's reaction, Sean's reaction, Ryan's reaction, everybody else in the chat. 
I mean, that was awesome. What was crazy is like, I couldn't imagine how, how rowdy that would have got Sean. If, if you, we were both on stream, like if you were in the G dub with me, instead of just in the chat, I can't believe, or like, even if anybody else was in the stream with me, cause I was going back and like, uh, on replay and just watching my reaction and like, like the comment pops up and it like takes me a second to see it. And I'm like, Oh, whoa, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, dude oh man. there are 146 of you maniacs rocking with us tonight shout out to the girth gang uh we got life bricks coming back strong uh offering uh quite frankly something bread that's not even available on the market team early, early cmf team early cmf space team early CMF. an absolute heater of a set Brent. we're going to get into that in a lot more detail obviously but the, i'm i'm yeah, should we know. should we uh after we uh do this little giveaway should we kind of take a little after we finish the uh, Star Wars, take a little peek. Maybe take a peek at them. Yeah, we should. The box is fire. I wanted uh, to hit a little more G Dub stuff, but we can we can do that. No, oh, yeah. To to just kind of we'll gloss over it. Maybe kind of as we go back. Keep up. going. Yep. Yeah, there, there you go. we go. Just a quick look. We'll take a better look at them later. But the box is fire, boys. And I love how each individual, as much as I hate the ba boxes and I wish they were bags, you see the uh, like the little space banner on the side of each box. That's kind of Sean Lynch. Yes, we are absolutely doing Aunt Peru's Buyer's Guide, the third annual Aunt Peru's <laughs> May the Fourth Buyer's Guide. It will be the week of. In fact, let me tell you guys when I think it'll be. Okay, don't lock this in yet. Don't don't lock this in yet. But I'm thinking. It might be Monday the 29th. Oh, I don't want to do the 30th, which is like the, the night of midnight going off because I encourage you guys to go check out our friend Stud City stream. He does the, uh, the, the countdown for, you know, the first, uh, first of the month releases over on his stream. That's going to be an absolute heater over there. Um, so we don't want to conf conflict with that. So I am thinking it'll be in and around – April 29th, that'll be a Monday night broadcast. It will not count as a regular ACOB show or a GWP. It's just a standalone. Like I said, Brent, it's almost like a pay-per-view. You know what I mean? It's its own event. Right, right. <laughs> and shout-out to Tyler here in the chat. Popping into an ACOB main show chat for the first time in a minute. Uh, says, shout-out to the Panda Express fortune cookie in that picture I sent Brent. Yeah, yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't even realize that was there. But, yeah, we got a, we got a nice fortune cookie. Next to this uh, box of CMFs right here. Shout, shout out to Panda Express. <laughs> Guys, we got 44 oh. in the draw right now. Only there's 44. I feel like there's so. Oh, uh, yeah. Lego Timmy, uh, if you put it more than once, it doesn't get you in the giveaway more than once. So thank you for reminding everyone of that. <laughs> for everybody who's like spamming, spamming. hashtag life breaks, I mean, look, like... hold on, Brent. We'll take the comments. Don't give me, you know, look, we'll take the engagement. Sure. But you know, we're only getting one entry just to just to be clear. So. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, shout out to shout out to Kevin Howard becoming the new member. The Girth Gang just got Kevin girthy. Howard. Let's, Let's go. Kevin's coming oh, through. Oh, dude, we got It's a good time to be in the chat. Man. Make sure you hashtag Life Bricks, Kevin. Get your chance to enter, or enter for your chance to win an early space CMF. Shout out to Kevin, man. The Girth Gang just got girthier. Another new channel member. Love to see it, baby. We love. Thank you, it. Kevin, dude. Major shout out. Thank you for coming through, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have some stuff. He's back. Come on, Ty Tyler's. Tyler is Tyler. back, guys. If you missed the GWP, and by the way, Brett, I just realized, like, we got you know double the people in here, so we should treat the dude. This is Tyler's return to the ACOP stream. You know what I mean? For some people, it's the first they're yeah. seeing it. Guys, if you missed it, right? Look, Tyler's here right now. It's fantastic. If you're just seeing him for the first time, shower. Either way, shower him with the love. Uh, so glad to see him back. But if you did miss the GWP stream that Brent put on the other night, go find that moment. We are going to clip it out, by the way. It was that yes. cool of a moment. I already called it yeah. top three, maybe the best ever ACOB moment. Mm -hmm. uh, watch the reaction when Tyler shows up. Not just from Brent, yeah. but the Girth Gang went the, absolutely. Yeah. I was in the chat that night. And we let, went, let me say this, too. Yeah. And I'm sure this is something you guys already know, but if some of you don't know this, when you do watch us on replay gang, make sure like when you go to the comments to like swipe over and then you'll see the the replay of the chat as well. Very important. So if you're someone that's like, oh, I don't really watch replay that much because because you're not involved in the chat. Well, you can still see exactly what the chat was saying if you just make sure to sure to switch over from like the post comments 
to the live comments. So be sure to do that too, because I'm telling you, when I watched it on replay and like Tyler commented and I clicked on his comment and freaked out, the chat was just like, do 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 Like, it was awesome. All right, guys, uh, we'll give it a couple more minutes. And actually, in honor of Tyler, uh, guys, there's 89 likes on this stream. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come on. There's 147. We should have said the giveaway doesn't happen MF unless we hit 100. And, like, first of all, a little bit 60 entries. I, you guys don't. You guys don't want the, the CMF. There's no strings attached, boys. Tyler's just. Gonna oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Let me read this one. And I'll do my best, like, Tyler impression here. I don't think I've ever done an impression of Tyler. Here we go. I know damn well there's at least 25 of you that will read this message that aren't already... Wait, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I know damn well at least another 25 of you will read this uh, message and, are, and aren't already entered... Enter, sorry. I can't do impressions and read things at the same time. I get distracted. Yeah, I, I don't much. know if I can do Tyler. He, he's a little bit faster. He's like, I, I know damn well another 25 No, he's like, I know damn well. Tyler, damn can you well, jump on and say this, you please? <laughs> Space Tyler. CMS... Ooh, Tyler, let me, oh, hold on. Let me try this. Tyler, can you on voice recorder or on a text to me say this sentence and I can play it live on ACOP? Could you do that? <laughs> I was fumbling the impression. Usually I'm pretty good. Because we got to clean up that impression. Tyler, can you record yourself saying this and we'll play it? Uh, 63 entries. Let's check the likes again. We were only a couple away there. 89 likes let's get it let's we're we're, we're refreshing on, we gotta get 98 likes. we're two away on that we got 64 entries will we hear the man's voice hey, i threw it out to him he might not want to it's all right i always yeah, push. i funny. always push <laughs> oh you need to add a dude in there that's true well he usually says well look 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 <laughs> genuinely now listen genuinely i mean quite frankly if you guys don't enter this giveaway i mean does it mean that the the seat the space cmf f is a flop i mean how, how many entries do we got right now sean <laughs> what only 60 64 you guys 64 out there are gonna want to want to win a free right. cmf space cmf early all right we're up to 104. i just I, i'm ready to listen, pull i'll trade. tell, you, I'll tell you one thing though i know damn well sean the fact, of the, matter a, is... <laughs> the fact of the matter is that if this was a space CMF... Oh, yes, dude, we got it. Or, or, I mean, if this was a Star Wars CMF, I mean, every single person in the chat right now would be entered. Tyler, where'd you send it, dude? Uh, DM or what did you do? Let me see. Give a second. I mean, quite frankly... We have, Shreddy, we have audio from, from Tyler you, coming. Hold you on. know Shreddy knows because knows, Shreddy's always in Tyler's streams and stuff. I mean, quite frankly... Nobody wants the space CMF. Room temperature grapes, bro. I forgot. If we were going. That was when it was just like me, Max, and Nicole, or me, Max, Nicole, and Sean, or me, Max, Nicole, and Tyler. And there was like a room temperature grapes conversation going on. He said he texted it to you. So maybe just give it a second. Okay. I mean, quite frankly, does oh, nobody want the space CMF? Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, no, it's on my headphones. No, 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 no. <laughs> Damn it. Hold on. I'm wearing my magic glasses, so it spits audio to it. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Here's, here's, here's how Tyler would say this. I know damn well there's at least 25 of you guys that will read this message that aren't already entered. So go ahead and enter. And it's probably hard to see, but I'm going to point right at you, right at you listening and maybe looking at this video. But nonetheless... I'm pointing at you. Type in that damn chat, hashtag life bricks. Uh, why not? It's a free CMF. I wish I had them right here, but they're upstairs. So uh, go oh, ahead. let's go. Oh, he sent you a video. Favor, get a free CMF and uh, like the stream. Get it up to 100. Let's go. Let's go. I love how we just like gradually. First, he was only commenting. Then he's like, I'm going to comment and I'm going to hit the ACOP crew with the giveaway. He'll be <laughs> Sean's back, like, guys. Sean's like, at least send me a video or at least send me an audio recording of you saying what you well, because we do we but i mean tyler understands we butchered that kind of badly Dude, like, mark so just mark kind of... remembers the uh shout out to the room temperature grapes episode the, that's kind of a throwback to where you know tyler used to be on with us all the time but mark remembers the room temperature grape episode all right guys i think that we've spent a long time on this giveaway we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and call it uh 65 entries we will give you a countdown from uh 10 seconds here uh nine eight seven 
six, five, four, Man, only three, two, one. Let's run it. Good luck, everybody. 65 entries. Oh, wait, into... wait, wait. Hold on. Hold, wait, wait. Did you do it wait. yet? No, nah, never mind. I was going to answer that. I shouldn't enter. I'm just no, 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 because that would be a problem. Everybody would have to redraw. <laughs> Look at this. It lands on 66. Awesome. Oh, see, I stalled, and one more person came in. It wasn't me. I All right, here we go. We're entering the draw for the advanced copy of a Lego Space CMF. Here we go. And the winner is TJ. TJ. Let's go. I thought it was going to be Shreddy. I thought it was going to be Shreddy. Teach. Let's go though. Dude, it gave the hard pause on Shreddy. It Shreddy. did, bro. I thought it was Shreddy. Dude, I thought it was Shreddy, man. Shreddy was on that pause, baby. What? And they were Dude, like, nah. that it really did pause on Shreddy for a second, bro. Teach, congrats. We know it's going to a great home. I mean, there's yes. very few that admire yeah. admire the minifigure as much as our friend TJ. Guys, give it up. Big dub for Teach. Let's go. Teach. Awesome, awesome community member. And TJ, dude, give me your plug again too. I I love I love watching your your weekly streams with Amber Laya as well. Um remind me of the nights I'm, I know I'm terrible, but I just watch it when it pops up. Shreddy got teased. Shreddy got, got teased. Uh, Shreddy got done dirty. <laughs> yeah, that was that that was I mean like look, if it if it would have paused for like a moment, you know, fine, but like that Bro, it sat on Shreddy for like two whole uh, seconds. It was like I one with replay one. gang. If I actually started forming the word of TJ, <laughs> I almost I was like I hesied. I was like about to celebrate for Shreddy, and then it went to TJ. Look at this, and look at this. He's he's back at full strength. Tyler's shipping it tomorrow. Boom. Nice. Boom. Doesn't even have to tell him his address. Beautiful. Perfect. Guys, you Dude. look. I, Life bricks turning into Santa Claus. You know, he shows up once a year, delivers gifts. So, you know, what are you going to do? Dude, no, that's, that's, hey. Duh, yeah, Shreddy with two whole you. Mississippis. Shreddy. <laughs> two whole Mississippis. Yeah, yeah. Shreddy was like a wrestling match. He's like, one, two. Yeah. TJ. <laughs> TJ said, not today. Yeah. TJ got the shoulder oh. up at the last minute. He's like, nah, dog. <laughs> that's my thing. Yeah, W. Tyler, I mean, everyone, uh, everyone was, seemed to just, be excited to have this giveaway oh, happen. We have a date. He's back Tyler. April. He's back April eighteenth, twenty twenty five. So, oh wow, geez, that's oh, like having really? to wait on the fifth season of Stranger that's, Things. That is fun. <laughs> but um, all right. So that was fun. All right, that was awesome. W's in the chat. W's for Brent, Tyler. You gave that your was, thoughts. Was... You're a little bit angry at it. Look, here's my thing. Yeah, let, let me. Know. How are you feeling? Because I've yeah, said how I'm I feeling. Really a lot. done a lot. Um, okay, well, he hasn't really done a lot, but I think he'll be back. I don't know what happened there. Um, here, he's coming back. The classic backspace. I love the cl it. <laughs> classic Sean move. There we go. It's been a while <laughs> since I, I got I was, caught. I was like moving my mouse around. I'm like, I don't think I clicked on something. Here, let me let me put me back on here. Brent will be the bottom, okay? All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get my place. Uh... All right, here's the deal, guys. Like, I've heard a lot of feedback. Most of you know my opinions tend to you know they can they can go up and down, side to side. I hear what others say, I ingest it, and I go, yeah, that's true, that's a good take, and all that. But from the start, I'm going to start with the very start. When I first saw this, I'm like, that's awesome. Okay, that was my first thought. I'm like, that's a really nice GWP because of what we received last year. Now, I understand if some of you guys are down for the Death Star two and the coins and all that stuff. I love getting a set with figures. To me, there is no better GWP, and that's Star Wars or otherwise. You think about Star Wars, you know, they 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 got our hopes up with Baru. And they went back down, and now they're back up with this. So at this glance, at a glance, I go, this is great. And then I did start thinking about it, and they were like, well, you know, the army builders, that's going to be a problem. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I... I really do feel bad for those dudes, but for me, no matter what, I was getting two to three tops, one to rock, one to stock, one for the shelves, one for the claws. You know what I'm saying, Brent? Like, so yeah. And I mean, for I... me personally, I'm not deeply offended, but like always, I do feel for you dudes that have 
you know, your, your, your base plates galore ready to go with a battle you've been dying to have. And from what I understand, even the, mock they, even the mockers, you know, yeah, the mockers. I mean, so, so I, while I feel for you guys, and I think it's dirty from that respect for me personally, like I'm fine with it, but I totally empathize and get what you guys are saying. Like that is a bummer. Here's Ryan. Why. Here, here he comes, here comes Ryan. Uh, <laughs> I I, hey, I I like it too. But, but I do. I'm gonna say this though. Like I think it is a fantastic GWP asterisk. But I do empathize with you, army builders. Um. Oh, here we go. I I, I I sent the bat signal to Ryan. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Ryan, that exact coin though. Ryan, there's two coins. I want you to yeah. take a look if you don't mind, sir. There was a there's a Yavin coin. That is already on the website, but I just sent you one with the OG logo coin. And people are saying Germany only. People are saying German exclusive. There's two coins going around, dude. Yeah. Not to, not trying to put work on you. I just didn't know if somebody maybe gave you the uh, the Iggy. You know what I mean? A little bit of. And uh, I will say this, Ryan, that everybody in the chat was kind of flipping out that the other coin was so much cooler. Oh, okay. Hold on. No, it. he he gets what we're saying. So the Yavin coin, you got to spend 90 to get. So he's saying it's – okay, so he's saying the other one should be insiders. That would be super rad. Okay. Dang, I'm, I'm going to need more freaking insider points to uh... – oh, you know what? I just thought of this because I'm like 50 insider points short of uh, being able to get that poster. I can just scan some booklets and I'll get the – Smokey with the two sides it. of the same coin theory. I like that. Other one is VI. Thank you, sir. And US. We're confirming US. Our two keychain is Europe. Anybody seen Gavin? What's going on with Gavin? Uh, Tyler with a hot take. Pilot Droids Return is the highlight of 2024 so far. Tyler, uh, what, what would you pay for? What, what do you think the market's going to be? Am I right? Are those going to be like five bucks after this comes out, or is it more like 10? What do you think the pilots will be on the So episode? he's already spent all of his VIP points on the Lego wrapping paper. So. Oh, sorry. What's what's uh, Ryan saying? Not the same packaging is way different. Um. Oh, on the coin, the coins. I didn't. Get, I didn't get the Gavin joke. I'm sorry. He'd rather have it as a set. I would rather have it as a set. Yeah. Yeah. But that's. But that's again. I. You know, I, but here's the other question you want to ask. Okay, for everyone that's upset about it, would you rather have this or a Death Star 2? Oh, what? The thing that we got last year? Yeah. This, for sure. Okay, so, I mean, it's like... Yeah, listen, I'm not, like, raged, like, pissed, but, like, I just think it's a missed opportunity that this should have... Been. Now, I mean, Tyler kind of came in with a hot take uh, yesterday... Or not yesterday, but on the GWP, he was saying that if this was for sale for thirty bucks, it would sell more than the uh, the droid clone uh, battle pack. I don't know. I don't know that it would, but hot take a little bit. But uh, you know, Ryan's take on the G Dub. I started watching his vid. I didn't finish it yet. So, but that's that's my thoughts. I think if you just judge it as what it is, you know, it's 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 a it's better than last year. Yeah, I think he, for me personally, on par with Baru, I really liked what they did with Baru. For God's sakes, we're doing a show about her for the third time. That's how much I respect that set. Yeah, I've heard yeah. people say we should have had a Shmi in that spot. You know, there's all kinds of little environmental builds they could have done. If these are twenty on the aftermarket, he's buying twenty. Okay, so uh, maybe I was yeah, off with my be, five dollar call. There'll be more than twenty, I think, but we'll see. No, no, are you talking about the set or the droids, Tyler? The pilots. What do you think the pilots themselves will be? Oh, pilots themselves. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Tyler. I didn't mean to. Yeah. So if Tyler was saying, I said the same price. Tyler was saying if if this set was on the shelves for twenty bucks, it would sell more than the droids and clones for. 30. Ryan said, "Look, so, it's sorry. a good GWP. If people are upset that it's not being sold as as a set, per what? Oh, meaning." Yeah, so if people are upset that it's not being sold, that means it's what? It means it's desirable, right? People want it that much. Yeah. Yeah. Should have been Foden Bead, man. I know. See Tech Sean. Okay. <laughs> See text. Toad and Reed. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. 
Maybe if there was like a couple Gungans in this set or something. It'd be you guys, for homework tonight, um, Ryan just reminded me of a video he made oh, three years ago. So good. He's saying we've had it pretty good the last three years, all things considered, because three years ago he made a video called Why Are Lego Star Wars May the Fourth Promos So So Terrible? So you oh, know, when it was some, like when it was the for, three mini Yeah, that's things. true. Those little mini yeah, those mini diorama builds. So yeah, guys, I, I like I said, we're 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 eating good. Look, would we all like to get back to the glory days of getting a little little heater and a poly? Sure, but like it doesn't have to be a poly though. Yeah. It's cool. Imagine if we and and by the way, met. by the way, you know what this sets up for though? Because like Tyler said, maybe if they're twenty bucks, thirty bucks, if somebody wants to go nuts on these, that be a cool flex, Brent. You know, somebody gets a hundred of these and puts them yeah. in a yard somewhere. Shout out to Stud City. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Just puts them out in the grass. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm I'm happy to get it. It's Phantom Myth. I will say one thing, and and I think Ryan did. Uh, mention this and, and agree with this point i really wish we would we would get that phantom menace 25th anniversary thing on a brick like because oh, a, a, everybody's but the thing is, is miss. everybody is gonna have a million of the same brick because though that same one comes in every single set i think somebody said they're yeah. already brick lincoln for like a, a like a two bucks a brick or something like that huge miss for them not to give us the phantom menace 20th 25th on a brick like come on Hey, Come Gaming on. Gan, someone sit, needs to tell Lego to make an HJ. If you guys recall, Ryan on this very show said that, you know, he'll look into it. So maybe maybe Ryan provides all of you with your very own HJ individually. You know what I mean? Human so, Java. Oh, did that sound bad? Sorry, I meant to. Uh, <laughs> waiting for Shy to drive over a stack of these. Shy, are you getting a stack of these Ooh. if you're still around? And if you're on replay, gang, you can still answer. Um, these are hints. He's from a different time or dimension. Glad Clone Wars brick is exclusive. Oh, yes, from last year. Yeah, that, that, that was a lot more limited. I do feel like this R2 brick is everywhere now. So Yeah. Oh, yeah. We get 20 different wizard tiles in Potter sets. I know. And right. we don't even get – and by the way, we didn't get one wizard in the Phantom Menace set, Brent. That's upsetting. Yeah. You know? Oh, which, which by the way – like speaking of other <laughs> I can't wait to get to Brick World Chicago where Sean will be handing out free HJs. That'd be cool if we got HJ minifigs to just toss out. Yeah. Hand out to the homies. That's funny. Yeah, I know uh when I was talking about the tie interceptor, uh when Stud like brought up all the printed mystery wizard tiles you get in the Harry Potter sets, when I was talking about the uh the the uh, new TIE fighter while wow, I'm blanking on the interceptor. <laughs> I was talking about the interceptor. There's a sticker in there. That's Whoa. literally a one by one sticker on a, like a little one by one tile, like a dot. And like, I didn't even think about it. Like, but then like Ryan brought it up in the chat. He's like, I didn't even think about dots. Dots had like probably a hundred different little printed dots with all these different things on there. And like, they couldn't give us a one little printed dot <laughs> for, for a freaking UCS set, just a tiny little dot. We got to do a sticker for that. But yeah, I just had to, yeah, relate that. By the way, like guys, I just got another note. Water. Everybody's feeling generous. I don't know if it's going to be tonight or on a future show, but Mark from Brick World would like to do a special giveaway. Yeah, okay. So it'll be like next, it'll be in the coming weeks. Oh, he just snap. clarified. Um, and it will be an exclusive item related to Brick World Ooh. future. Yeah, on a future show as a little teaser. Sorry, I misread Whoa. that. Oh. But uh, you know, we already did one Givy tonight. We'll do another one. Mark would like to uh, would like to uh, sponsor a little giveaway here on ACOP. That's a lot of fun. Exclusive too, Brent. A Brick World exclusive. I, I know what it is, exclusive. but I'm I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm gonna we're gonna tease it out a little bit. But a little Brick World exclusive. Um, so there you go, man. That, that'll be fun. Facts, Tej. Any one by one tile or round tile should be printed for sure. Guys, at the very least, like I said, I will have an HJ shirt that I'm going to wear proudly around uh, Brickwell, Chicago. <laughs> at the very least, I will have HJ. Hold on. I got to check with the boss, man. Mark, is it cool if I wear a shirt around the convention that just says HJ on it? <laughs> Nothing yeah. else. Is that corporate enough for you, no. sir? <laughs> oh, man. Mark, let should me I... know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get written up on my first day on the job, sir. I'm sorry. Should I get an HJ tattoo? 
I will. I'll get a HJ. On I don't know. Mind. I feel like there's other ACOB things that are, you know, has, has HJ reached the level of some of the other things, Brent? No, because there's a lot of different ACOB ideas I got to get inked on to my Lego leg. Okay, I'm here slacking. we go. I only have two Look, all right, here we go. See, this is why he's the best boss. He says, hey, you can wear your HJ shirt during non-public hours. <laughs> I agree with that. Mark. We don't want the kiddos to see it. I think a more I think a more subtle one would be like kind of like the like the uh, the emoji that the members, the channel members have, where it's just like literally the actor that played human Jabba, and it's like black and white, and he's looking all serious. Whoa. Hey, Cooper. Life bricks. There you go. That's an interesting little mm-hmm. Get a tattoo in your palm that says HJ Reddy. All right, guys, I, I think you we're talking about two different things. I'm only talking about human Java, okay? Like, okay, it's getting out of control. You, I, you guys have dirty mind. It just hit me what you guys are saying. That's crazy. Life breaks the cheese, Cooper. All right. Oh, man. Guys, look. Um. <laughs> Share your thoughts on this one. I, I did want to do a lot more on overarching GWP stuff, Brent. I'm just going to throw it out there. GWPs as a whole, I like this style where you get a little set that is bang on, has something to do directly with the theme or incorporates with the set that it's coming out with, right? We got uh, the Eiffel Tower and we got, what was it, Roger Eiffel or whatever the hell, you know, that kind of plugs into it. That was yeah, cool. One of the, yeah. <laughs> Whatever what the was, hell that guy is. Like, I, I like when it makes sense, you know, like, and even when it's yeah. a stretch, like you're going to toss me a little, little Luke Sabe with a, with a Star yeah. Wars set. Fine. But my very favorites are, you know, an actual build of a vehicle or a building. Um, yeah. The Forestman hideout, that kind of, like, those are the best. And I know that's not Death, a hot take. The Death Star 2 last year. It's kind not of horrible, correlated. but like, I don't, it, I don't get a loner on that one. I just don't. The other not thing I don't really care about, but it's not for me. I, I, you know, guys, a lot of times you got to think about like, it's not just, you're not the only consumer out there. Right. And it's like, it's hard sometimes. Cause you're like, it should matter to me. Brent probably likes this. Like, you know, when you go and buy it and they throw like a little Easter bunny in your bag or something like, like, I don't care about that. It's good. I'll give it to the kiddos, but that's not going to make yeah. me go to the store to get the the Easter basket or whatever, or the two cats right. during Halloween, you know, yeah. I like themed, relatable, whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, whatever intertwined, you know, something that actually makes sense with, with what I'm buying that day. Yeah. And I will it. say this it, for, for as much as I've kind of been annoyed and been complaining about this GWP not being a set, I will say this. I was really hoping that maybe this year for the 25th of the Phantom Menace that maybe by some stretch of the imagination that the May the 4th set was going to be something from the Phantom Menace. You know, like a like a pod racer or something. Obviously, that's a little bit of a stretch. It's always going to be original trilogy stuff for like the May the 4th set. Not always, but the majority of the time. So, I will take at least the fact that the GWP is a phantom in a set so you know that that's the coolest takeaway for me like if we can't get a phantom menace set or even a prequel set as a gwp or as a the may the fourth set it's you know it's cool to see it as the uh as the gwp um but anyways oh i can't see the chat but i mean i'm you know i'm still hyped to get it i was only gonna get one but i think i'm probably gonna get two just because of all the other deals they got going on. Um, so so we'll see. I'm kind of glad I'm kind of glad that uh, I haven't really been buying like a bunch of Lego Star Wars because I'm there's quite a few different things that that I need to pair up. Jesse's Bricks Galaxy, Galaxy said uh, it's like pairing wine with cheese with the G dubs. Yeah, honestly, like because if it's a GWP where like you don't really it's not really that related just like a throw in poly bag it's like fine but when it's a when it's a GWP that's related to the set what, with whatever you're getting a modular building and it's something that goes with that or a, or a Harry Potter like Brick Hive breaks it up all the time actually it's one of my favorite GWPs but it was a Harry Potter GWP and it was like the the book of monsters like the the book that had like the mouth and it like had the play function like you scoot the book along the ground and the mouth would 
open and shut. So, yeah, it's always... <laughs> Mark, the... oh, wait. Phantom Menace, such a great name, such an awful movie. A. Hey, I know the Phantom Menace isn't the best Star Wars movie, but I love it a lot. It has a lot of nostalgia for me. I was six years old watching that movie. But even from a critical standpoint, you know, I know, Mark, I know you don't love The Phantom Menace that much. People can say it's awful, but you know what's not awful? The lightsaber fight at the end and the pod race. There's some uh-huh. cool things in there. Phantom Menace is in Fabu's top three. I mean, but yeah, uh, we were talking Phantom Menace, Sean, just because I was yeah. saying how I was saying earlier before, like, you know, this year's May 4th set was revealed. I was like, oh, it'd be cool if somehow the May 4th set was a Phantom Menace set. Probably not going to happen because it's the Phantom Menace and it's not the OT. But I will take, I will, I will settle with the fact that at least we get a Phantom Menace set for the May 4th GWP. So that's, you know, there you overall go. pretty cool. <laughs> Love you too, Mark. He said, respect your opinion. <laughs> top five as well. There you go. We got some people it's around top for five. It. I'm telling you, it's better than Hey, listen. S- it's seven, not Mark's eight, cup of tea, you know? What are you going to do? All right, guys. So, yeah. Look, I, that's that's it. I You know, I would have loved to go, like, way more in depth than, like, all GW. But that's that's my take. I mean, we could sit there and examine 80 different GWPs. But that's that's how I feel. Uh, someone earlier mentioned, like, a good wine and cheese pairing. I think that... That's what yeah, I was trying Jesse's to Jesse's Bricks Galaxy. Yeah. Thank you, Jesse. That's what I was mumbling. That's what I was trying to drive to. It's just, it's like when it makes sense, peanut butter and jelly, yeah. that kind of thing, like yep. a perfect complement to the main set. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than that. And it just, it, it's impossible to do any better than that, in my opinion. Like, it's just, it's it. It's how I feel. Um, again, not a crazy hot take, but most of them, I'm like, eh, it's fine. So I will say this, though. I do like when they threw, throw a wacky thing out. We joked about Blacktron, you know, stuff like that. But that, that was cool. You know, getting like a retro or some of the space stuff is cool, even if it's not being sold with a space set. I do like some of the retro stuff. But again, if you look at the common thread there, um, you're getting a really nice build and or figures with it, you know. And, yeah. and that's I think that's could you uh, imagine. Could you imagine this, Sean? What if the gift with purchase with the sail barge was a skiff? Oh, on the, on the on the job, like the, the desert skiff is the gift with purchase yeah, for the sail dude. barge. I'm saying what if, by the way, nobody yeah. takes that out of the context because we know what the GWP is going to be for that. But that would be sick. <laughs> or or would it be sick? Because. Uh, dude. Think about this. There's two sail barges pulling up on the on the barge, or there's two skiffs pulling up on the barge in the scene. So if it was a GWP, it'd be way harder to get more than one because it'd be coming with a five hundred dollars set. Well, right now the ru- right now the armyable army. Yeah. Bill. <laughs> right right now the rumor is another Luke's a lightsaber. This would be his lightsaber, Return of the Jedi saber. So. Oh, I know. It's got it's. Yeah, that's I, fine. I know it's kind. Of, yeah, I know it's kind of annoying because we already have a Luke's lightsaber, even if this is a different one, but, you know. Yeah. All right, Brent, we're going to take her home. Weekly picks. Okay, so this is actually from – I was not on ACOB last week, so this is the girthiest set I've bought in a while, boys, and we got it on clearance. Cody, the, the, the Disney Princess Battle Pack. Nice. Bro, this thing comes with, I think, 15. I'll kind of slide them across. The you screen. tucking that, that girl away for Christmas? or Look at that lineup. Well, I was going to, but Lana was with me when I saw the deal. And I, I told her straight up, I'm like, hey, listen. <laughs> Your birthday's not until August. Christmas isn't for a long time. Like, <laughs> it's not just any day a kid just, you know, gets a giant Lego set for no reason. And so yeah. I just kind of told her, like, listen, like, and she kind of understood. Well, she kind of, she's been doing good in school and soccer and everything. But, like, she also is kind of starting to understand pricing a little bit. She's eight now. Yeah. So she she kind of understood already without me telling her that, like, hey, this is a $60 set. And we took it home for... Uh, we took it home for sixty four dollars. Nice, dude. I can't. I can't really get the whole set 
close to yeah. the camera without like. No, it's all good. We, we'll take your word. Sixty four. We see it. There it is. Yeah, yeah it's kind of there. That's sweet. Sixty four dollars for a big old honking place. Uh, I mean, that's just. And currently, we're building Elsa's ice castle, like literally right in the next room of the basement. So, yeah. At at a certain point, Sean. I mean, we're gonna have the Disney castle, Elsa's castle, this thing floating around. We're gonna have a nice little Disney display. At you're gonna point. you're gonna so, be yeah. beat me to my Disney. That's good. Yeah. But hey, yeah, what so about you, those other you, things you kinda, that you picked up? You kind of need that. What's up? Oh, no, go ahead. I'm saying you don't. You kind of need this one because it's Disney 100. This is kind of a sneaky set to forget about. If you, if you want yeah. all the Disney 100 stuff, moments. I don't know if you're in the chat still. This is kind of a sneaky. I could one live to with forget about if I if I rolled up on that because you did offer to pick up, but I think with the shipping, it would have ended up being I, you know there was yeah exactly before anybody yeah. says in the chat. I am a good friend, and I did text Sean and say hey. There's another one, box kind of beat up, but I mean, I could ship to you without the box anyways, and you'd at least have it, you know. But 64 yeah. bones no, I cool. had to. It's very cool. Um, yeah, Lego stuff for me this week, guys. I'm not like, <laughs> look at my new Pokemon card. <laughs> and of course, if you guys have been following the shorts, I did I did say I was getting the hand, but I did end up picking up this one. That's a girthy box. Show from the so Let me see the side angle real quick. Yeah, look at that. Boy, is that... It feels like an eighty-five dollar box a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I'm excited about it, but as people have pointed out, the excitement I got a little carried away, and you know, it's it's still it's still sealed, you know. So I'm yeah. I'm now wondering, you know, like if I don't if I don't see anything else, maybe we do a little little return. Little, yeah, a little boomerang, bring that back, and then throw that towards the thing. I did have, I did apply some gifties towards it, and there was a Target Circle thing on it where I got ten dollar gift card, but then I used twenty. So I kind of got it for, you know, if you're lying to yourself, I got it for like fifty five yeah. bucks ish, you know. So I'll have to see yeah. how everything nets out, but um, and there's so much other stuff I need. So I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna take it back, but anyway, I, I was pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, it's. We, Hey, I mean, it's. But I was like, I was thinking about going hand, but I'm like, I've been doing this thing where, I'm like, just get the one you really want the most first, you know, and stop playing these games. Like, you know, you're gonna get where the you get the, where you get the cheaper thing. Yeah, because like, yeah, because it's fifty. You know, you're well, like, yeah, you oh, used to get me, you used to get on me for that all the time because yeah, I buy all yeah. these thirty dollar boys. And I'd no, talk I've been about, playing in know. the smaller space a lot more lately, but. The smaller um, space is fun to play in it's a because, fun ride. like, I mean, look, especially if if for forty or whatever fifty. Why, you know, if you can, that's if you why can it's get, fun to pick up a box of boys. Like, no, it is. That's always fun. easier. Pick up. Guilt free. It's fun. Yeah. Always just get yourself a box of boys. Um, oh, yeah. Let me see. Get yourself a butthole tiger for clearance. Thanks, Cody. You know. <laughs> there you go. All right, boys. Well, uh, I've got a big trip in the morning, so we're going to cut it a smidge short tonight. But I appreciate you guys always rocking with us. Uh, we will be right back here next Thursday. Who knows if, if Brent gets a wild hair, uh, you know, whenever he wants, he could throw a G-dub at you guys. We'll see what happens there. Not promising could anything. Be, could be another be couple to, months, but if Brent's feeling yeah, a little risky. I was going to say it'd be back-to-back -back weeks of G-dubs, but uh, who knows? Guys, there's a lot of randomness that I can go in on gwps i mean like of, of course like we still talked a lot about lego on last week's gwp because there was a lot of stuff just to talk about in general but we can go i mean me and tyler were throwing around the idea before if me and tyler did a gwp thank you charlie like, if me and tyler did a gwp one time and literally just talked about food the entire time because that kind of became a joke there was like an episode where it was like just me and tyler sean was out we did like food for like 30 minutes because the chat was <laughs> the chat just kept saying stuff about yeah. like different food we were talking about it's and fine it's like, I, I remember you me know you gotta tie it into lego at some point well it was just funny because like me and tyler had like i remember us just like spitballing about the ideas like we just should just do a gwp where we actually do just talk about food the entire time <laughs> <laughs> everybody gets hungry, hungry by the end. room temp greats another great one tonight guys thanks for all the kind words uh huge shout out to prize winner Tej. well deserved to think of a better well. better win shout out to tyler for giving it away shout out to mark on the tease bread there's a big tease coming yeah, we're gonna have we got a, another see we said at the beginning of the show you know like well, like, who knows if anything's going to pop up tonight on the stream? Who knows? And two things. A surprise giveaway from Tyler Life, Which was himself. another surprise. To Tyler showed yeah. up again. 
And then Mark's, you gotta cherish throwing that. His, Mark's throwing his name in the hat. He's getting in the mix. And he says he wants to give something away to the Girth Gang. I mean, also, I want to shout out to the, the chat for tonight again. I mean, tonight was a thank night you, where Jeremy. Just, thank you, Jeremy. But shout out to you guys because this was a night where it was just me and Sean. No guests planned. No surprise guests or anything, really. And we were up to 150 of you guys out here. I mean, you guys showing up for the two ogs you know what i mean we we love to see it man i mean we have we things get crazy in here when we have duck bricks popping in here and you never really know who's gonna pop in for what but like you guys still rock with the with the og boys we appreciate that we, we appreciate that man yeah it's, it, it, i've said it a thousand times it's you know it is cool to bring on an, an interview it, at first it was like interviewing and meeting a lot of these guys but now you guys know these yeah. they're like semi-regular cast members honorary yeah you know, we don't really even interview people much really no we don't even really like, need, yeah we just like what's going on with you um yeah but but really brent and i talk about it all the time the coolest thing is yeah you might have come in because you saw so and so was on but a lot of you guys are staying and a lot of you guys are rocking with us and that means so much man so guys i got a big trip in the morning that i gotta get ready for if if i didn't i would rock with you guys for another hour but i got an early wake up call and uh you know stay stay tuned to our socials i'll keep uh on the road you guys know i upload those shorts i hope you're enjoying me running around saying things at toys uh, i'm yeah, having fun doing your... them they're starting to gain traction i think they're getting a little better brent yeah, like they're a lot of fun sure. i am gonna switch it up soon brent's gonna start throwing some on i think and um yeah oh yeah you know we'll, we'll give you little nugs to keep you keep you well fed between uh yeah. episodes for you so and cpa is right we're almost a 3k sub so tell your friends tell anybody you know that might want to listen to some Lego wackiness. You guys, about your buddies. Sure. yeah, and guys, it, you know, f film yourself, uh, you know, fisting the boys. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if you guys want to, you want to bump knucks. By the way, all right, last thing for the night. Have any of you guys done that in the store? Just from <laughs> the shorts. <laughs> I hope <clears throat> that would be sorry, awesome guys. Still getting over a cold. Um, but have any of you guys? fist bump the boys because i've done it when i wasn't recording i'll be dead honest with you oh i have this when i'm not making a video i'm just like boom boom it's just like out of instinct yeah you got to fisting the boys fist or fist bump. shakes bricks and picks i meant fist bump Tiger there i go it. there i go guys abbreviating and, and meaning the wrong thing i do not fist the boys yeah fist the nah, boys. it's all behind all right. the <laughs> he's never fisted a boy tyler you're I don't. I don't know if I believe Tyler. Tyler, you've never walked by at a targ and just you saw the boys hanging. He doesn't like those boys, though. So. What up, boys? Yeah, he doesn't like those boys, so he wouldn't. Smokey he wouldn't. does it. Smokey's man enough to admit it. <laughs> Cooper's done it. Bump through the glass. Yeah, you got. Listen on the bump through the glass. Looking you know, I want to put it through the glass. I got to put a disclaimer when I I go full force, but you guys see I pull up a little bit because I'm not trying to right smash the hand. So. All right, boys, you guys are the best, most fun time of the week for us. Hope it is for you, and we will see you right here next week. Yeah. I thought you were just going to end before even. I know. I, I kind of did a wrap-up. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, what? Well, boys, it was a tight two hours. We talked news and rumors. We talked the return of the king, Tyler giveaway a threat of a second giveaway coming soon and peru is also coming a lot of people are doing that uh brent is swiveling around and we did get into those g and we learned the truth about the second coin which I, got me pretty emotional but that second coin might be my most looked forward to thing quite frankly the heater um we are going to be adding a little supplemental nugs for you guys throughout the week Possible GWPs, anything is possible on this channel, so definitely stay tuned. Brent, any closing thoughts? Sir? May the 4th is coming. Get hyped. Let's buy so some is Lego. Maru. <laughs> Let's buy some Lego, boys. There you go. For Brent, for Brent Briggs, this is Sean the Right Way, and this silly little thing that we put on for you guys each and every week he is... Couple of Yeah. We'll see you right here. Smooth.